like how a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square, right? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Top Flight, everyone. Hi, good to see you. Um, we're in a debate about whether or not soup is a solid or a liquid. Or no, some so, kind of no, no, well, there are solids it's... inside of the liquid. Suspended in a liquid, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, soup is a food. It is a liquid, but not all fo foods are generally solid, but they're also liquid. So now, Whatever. now, now, to explain like this to me. Soup can has chicken in it, which are is they, a solid. What is a what is a superfood then? A superfood? Uh, plasma based. Cool. And uh, on that point, I guess I should go plasma. ahead and say yes. Welcome everyone Quinoa. to Top Flight. Uh, we do. Uh, you may see a slightly different lineup here uh, for our for our session tonight. Um, We'll be explaining some of that in game, and it is totally all for creative reasons and not based on people's availability for the evening. Uh, but we do have a fabulous uh, uh, guest guest star this week, uh, Laura. Hello, Laura. Hi, uh, Laura. Hello. If any of you uh, check out our our other stream uh, on Friday nights, Blood from a Stone, you'll see Laura there on Fridays, uh, playing a char characters who are designed to die, as opposed to these characters who are designed to survive at all costs and save the Earth. Um, I will say, you say we're designed to survive. We we have had several close calls. Yes, we have <laughs> but in fairness, but you, you haven't Only really two of us, I think, have been knocked out. Yeah, you, you guys aren't getting, you guys aren't really, like, I think you've, Barely been knocked unconscious. Have any of you really died? We've had no, several I mean, deaths. <laughs> I came, I came very close that that one time where you ambushed me with everyone and dealt me my weakness. That's right. Oh yeah, that was cool. But the thing is, this one is designed for our characters to play more than. It's once. the exact Blood opposite of Blood from Us. But you guys have like dice that you can use to empower yeah. yourselves and. Yeah, yeah. And all that kind of fun. Whereas, stuff. like, in Blood from Stone, you have, like, a skill proficiency. That is A true. skill. A skill. <laughs> you don't know how to do a thing. Well, I sure can handle these animals. Well, you're being attacked by some evil animals. Can I try to handle them? No, these are supernatural. They can't handle them. Okay, I'm dead. They're not animals. They look like animals. But it's like soup, you know? <laughs> is it a solid or is it a liquid? Look, these are all the important questions um, that we have to ask. Uh, I will... Uh, I will take a moment. <gasps> I just go. thought of a soup that's a solid. Okay. What? Wait. <laughs> Pierce's cat. Oh. <laughs> oh. I do have a cat named Lentil Soup. <laughs> oh, okay. That. Blood. Blood is liquid, though. Were Were that not a? Uh, were, were that not? Were that the not? Cat the cat is not liquid. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like a dark joke. Like, yeah. oh, his cat died from no. being dropped in acid. Like, damn, that sucks. Oh no. Like, no, I just, <laughs> I just have an old deaf cat named Lentil Soup. That's it. Uh, end that. story. <laughs> if you listen closely you might hear her yelling very loudly as she often does. Oh my God. Not now, but like that's a little like Easter egg now in the streams. Oh my gosh. You know- Do you hear lentil soup? It's a, these are all, these are all Stop excellent questions. Wow, this is the most off the rails we have ever started it. <laughs> And, and we start pretty off the rails. I I have off the rails suspect, so far. I have to suspect that things will will only get off the rails -ier as we continue. Um, to that point, let me give a brief sort of recap of where Top Flight had left things. Uh, after vanquishing the final, a newly created god that had slain so many of the former members of Top Flight, thanks to the assistance of one very, uh, he's, he's a good looking guy. I mean, you know, he's got a charm to him. He's a, he likes him. V, 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 V's down. V's into him. I would call uh, him, like, Affleck-esque. Uh, Dustin Howell, the new Captain Early Eldritch. Uh, the team uh, took a moment to bury the dead while also dealing with the sister of one of them. Uh, she had broken in because of something that her brother had been doing unbeknownst to the rest of Top Flight. Her brother, Baron Darkness. Lumen's favorite deceased member of the team. Favorite deceased... As in, of all the people who were deceased, that's her favorite one to be deceased. She did not trust him. Yeah, she was very fond of him. Very fond of him not, in a dead state. To be fair, she it, there's not a ranking. Like, she's not glad the other ones are dead. It's just Baron. It, just the one. I'm only happy one of you are dead. 
Um, so, Top Flight finds themselves curious about this creature that they are currently um, attempting to guard, utilizing uh, some magic from the pits of hell that will not last long. Uh, these kind of infernal iron that Synth Devil is able to summon for them. And they decided that their best bet was to research this Project Dynamo that apparently through um, involuntary experimentation created both Baron Darkness and his sister Mind Game, as well as many others over the course of its shady and not particularly well-documented run. Um, nevertheless, there were elements of what uh, Lumen heard that uh, things were kind of sounding a little bit familiar. This finding ancient deities and attempting to repurpose them into weapons. Uh, striking a chord with all of you. So, uh, Synth Devil made some investigations, and as it happened, all information about Project Dynamo seemed to have been expunged from any kind of public record, anything he could easily hack into. Eventually, the team, and we'll say a day or two has passed since the funeral, and again, you've all sort of gone through and, and you know, done more housekeeping and, and, and getting into your roles as members of the premier superhero squad of Flight Infinity. Synth Devil made the recommendation that you would probably need to go to one of the abandoned Project Dynamo facilities if you really wanted answers. Um, however, due to the political situation, even though Project Dynamo's uh, primary base was on Cradle Island in the Pacific, that is a basically an unclaimed island, not in uh, in truly international waters, no countries had uh, jurisdiction over it, um, although it's not too far from some American territories uh, in the area, it was suggested that perhaps the entire team sort of going there might might ruffle the feathers of the Department of Defense. So to that point, uh, they decided that only three members would head out. And those three members, to the consternation of many, were Findon, Lumen, and this is the one where people were worried, and V. Teleportia, uh, and Armament, and Shinobi Red as far as anybody knows, and Synth Devil are sticking around at the tower to handle other affairs. Um, the DOD, Lance Chen, sort of authorized this, especially because it was not, um, you know, you're, you're going not to, uh, not to another country. Um, so he said that that's certainly fine. He even offered, um, like, a U.S. military plane to carry you there for your investigations. He said he could, he could like, authorize that. Uh, t uh, top Flight does have some uh, some vehicles. So an interesting question I have to the three of you. Are any of you proficient in, in vehicles? Are any of you... Uh, I very much doubt it. Uh, it is a, it is a skill like... on your sheet. Yeah. Oh, check. I am. V you, have, you have vehicles piloting proficiency? I do. Well, then then V or one of her four... Actually, you can have two formations in the pilot and co-pilot scene if you wanted to in that case. Yeah. Um, so, yes. Okay. Uh, v, if you want to, uh, you don't have to have uh, a military pilot if you'd like to fly yourself in uh, in a plane. You can take one of the one of like the top flight jets. Are they top jets? I think uh, we talked I... about this before. Hold on. I need a I need to make a good list of all of the top. I uh, know they're top they're top guns. I believe they are top guns. It was top guns. That's absolutely right. So if you want to take a top gun, um, yes. All right. Wonderful. Can we? Uh, which model are we getting? Are we getting a, a Maverick? <laughs> a goose. Iceman? No, I will not go on a mission in a goose. I'm getting aboard a goose. All right, so, um, so Lumen will be flying Fair the Top Gun. No. Oh, I don't think that's wise. Oh, not Lumen, Lumen, sorry, V. Already doing it, don't you yeah. worry. I will mistake everyone's names, not even, n let there be no doubt. Um, so, uh, with V taking the helm of this, uh, of this vessel and, uh, kind of, you know, breaking the sound barriers, you fly very high. Um, v, would you make a piloting check for me? 
using that modifier of that skill. Oh, it is an 18. An 18, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, like, pre- assuming that you have proficiency, a 10 is just, like, flying easily. So, no, you're, it's a, it's a pretty smooth ride, guys. Uh, and, uh, sure enough, you, you begin to head toward Cradle Island. Um, how do you want to, uh, this is a plane that is capable of an amphibious landing, uh, or you can, uh, it, it's, it's top flight. It's got, like, the Harrier, you know, you can, you can, you can land on kind of true lies. Anyway, um, so you can, you, you don't need a runway to land this plane, in other words. Uh, it has, like, boosters. Mm. So, uh, but do you want to land in the water, or do you want to land on the island itself? Um, it, would it have, have like... a quicker takeoff from the water or from land? It's probably a little or quicker to take off from land. And, and do we have I'll like a? Here. Do we even have like a boat or something like that that we could use to get ashore? Oh yeah, there's. I mean, uh, the Top Gun. I think have... it would have like a dock. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, as you sort of do your first flyover, you don't. You see an area where a dock used to be, but it has been pretty uh, damaged. Uh, make a perception check though, as you do that. Twenty. Twenty. But plus. Oh well, it was an at twenty. So 24 at least, right? Four. Your perception is up at the top and it's not in your skills. Yeah. I don't know why. Yes. It's all, I, I know, all these all these games have little different rules. Perfect. So, um, you do actually notice um, there is like a small kind of like boat of some kind um, like in the water that doesn't look old, looks somewhat recent. Uh, kind of like smaller speedboat type thing um but it is it is kind of docked where the where they where that area used to be i'll i'll still choose to land on land though so you go land on land you also see the remains of like a large uh um i mean this is pretty tropical area so there's a lot of palm trees and there's a good bit of kind of a the, the natural flora has kind of overgrown once again but but uh there is a a pretty large facility uh um, do you want to land, like, directly next to it? You want to give yourself a little distance? A little distance. little distance. Kind of, yeah, kind of, like, a few hundred feet, whatever kind of thing. So, yeah, you land um, near this compound. There are more than one building in it. Um, but uh, as you land with your... We'll kind of keep your 24 going. Um, you do spot the sounds of, like, a large sort of struggle going on in some of the jungled area between your plane. And that facility. Seems like there is something going on. Um, what is, uh, what does it sound like? <clears throat> um, you like, hear... What kind, like... What like, is your yeah, passive more perception, detail. Findon? Not great. Okay. Not great, I don't believe. Uh, stand by. Uh, 14. Then you probably are just, like, you're kind of just back in the, you're in the back of the thing, you don't necessarily hear it. This is really, like, the the, the V's up in the in the cockpit. You know, you're in the kind of, like, X-Men, you know, you're in the in the back of the thing with your little stuff on. Like the jump on. seats? Yeah, the jump seats. Uh, but so, so, so V is seeing this. Um, so you don't even really hear anything. Uh... I will relay this back to them. Okay, cool. So, uh... Hey, if, if you're all kind of coming up and looking, um, after a few moments, however, you do hear a a large roaring sound, something bestial, and and unnatural and strained. There is something roaring, and you see trees being knocked aside. Um, and I will even say to kind of just to throw this in here, um, uh, um, Ockley's, let's have you make a strength saving throw. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. All right. So in that case, um, you don't see a body getting thrown out of the jungle. Instead, you see several uh, uh, like trees getting knocked down, and a figure sort of like kind of standing up amidst where they were. Uh, would, could you describe yourself? And if you've had time to think about that yet? <laughs> uh, that actually brings me to a question. Like, what is everyone else? 
kind of look like in this world. Um, um think think real kind of Marvel DC. It's a pretty standard, yeah. you know, like like typical comic book superhero think first. Um, most of our our team is basically human. I don't actually know exactly what Lumen looks like, but I've imagined mostly a human looking humanoid, uh, right? He, she looks like um, I've forgotten her name. Anya Taylor Joy. Is what yes. I was told. The woman from Queen's Gambit, um, mm -hmm. except platinum blonde. Uh <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, and glowing slightly. But uh, so and and so, yeah. Lumen's costume is kind of like like I think you're white and gold. Yes. And then and then V, your your gold and silver. White and silver. White and so we have white and gold and white and silver. And I think the so like but like it's it's very you know kind of like okay. typical and superhero am, costumes. Cool. Like, and I'm just wearing a white button up shirt, black trousers, and suspenders. He's, yeah, he's got. Kind of mine's kind of like starlight, but the sexy version. She just started <laughs> with that one. She went straight there. Uh, so yes, so so that's kind of the design sensibility of it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm wearing like a full body suit. Um, like black and green, uh, and my hair is tied back in a bun, like a tight bun. And do you have a mask? Do you have a domino yeah. mask? Uh, should I have a mask? Do you? It's up to you. Some people um, do. Some people don't. I think any of us actually have masks. Which feels Armament weird. Does. Armament has a mask. I thought he said he did. I thought he said his helmet was a thing. Because he keeps his identity I secret. Uh. I have a mask, but it looks like I kind of just made, like, it's kind of like a makeshift black mask out of, like, some fabric that I found that I just made for probably, like, this situation. Gotcha. So it's it's not a, it's kind of a... a it's your, not something I wear on a regular basis. Yeah, you know? your, uh, your, your early days Daredevil or Batman mask. It's not like a, yeah, 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 gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just, yeah, um, it looked like I needed to disguise myself for a certain someone. <laughs> understood. Or, Entity. So you you notice that this figure, uh, this this person who stands here, did this kind of like now like stalking out um, t uh, toward her um, is a twenty foot tall um, gorilla like monster. Except instead of arms, its its arms are two uh, snapping garfish headed snakes. Um, oh, gross. And it has large, kind of, uh, uh, almost boar-like tusks. And uh, it is just kind of roaring, and then also these two screeching sounds as the two arms also roar. Um, um, v, uh, I think you should take off. I think this is a bad place to land. I'll land in the water. Uh, you have already landed. This was like, you've already landed here. Can I take off again and land in the water a little further? Sure. I'll do that real quick. Should we not help the person about to be trampled by what I what thought person? was a yeti? What person? Can we not see her? You can. can we... Wait. The one oh. there? You see the woman who the, all the trees okay, fell out I, I was waiting on V to point any, like, cause I'm, oh, I'm strapped I in the back. Had, I, I thought they had gotten up to look out. Oh uh, yeah, I think she called you guys forward. So you're at the front okay. now. So you did all witness this. I see okay, what you're saying. Yes, with your passive, you have, yeah, you, yeah. Gotcha, that's okay, sorry. Let's finish yeah. the geography. Um, we're gonna unbuckle, I'll be like, um, maybe we should go help that person. Never mind. forget what I said. Um. So both bees will unbuckle and I'll split again. So there's a total of four bees. All right, so there are four bees. I think at this point, up. let's go ahead and roll initiative, guys. Let's uh, just, we're just jumping. I, quick question: Can I can I do one thing before that? Okay. Is it possible for me to make an insight check before that? Sure. I just want to get a gauge on this entity that we're going to try to help. Okay. Not on the giant gorilla with snake arms and tusks. No, I think I got a good beat on that one. <laughs> uh, six, Philip. You. It was a seven, wasn't it? You have. It was not a seven. It was you. You just with a six. You have no sense mm -hmm. of this person's vibe. You have absolutely none. You don't know who All they right, are. Yeah, we should probably. No... We should probably help. You have no, no, no thought on the matter. So, is anybody here over a 20 or higher for their initiative roll? I got a 
got a nat one. All right. Well, we'll get to that in a second, probably. Um, is anybody over a 15 or higher? 17. 17. Look at that. Ockley's is getting into it. All right. Anybody over 10? 13. 13. What's your dexterity modifier? He asks for no reason. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Uh, Saddle. Uh, and then uh, Lumen, what do, what do you have? Four. Okay. And what a, v, a v, what do you have with your nat one? Three. Three. Okay. I had a nat one too. Hey, look at that. Hanging we're, out at the bottom, guys. At least we're All right. getting up. All right, so we're V has some stuff. Uh, he, he's, uh, you know, kind of fended, looks out. He's trying to get a read on who this person is, but the monster roars and begins to advance. So, uh, Ockley's, as it happens, you are up first. Awesome. So, um, uh, and we'll assume that though you probably have exchanged this or that with this creature, you did just see a giant plane land about, uh, you know, we'll say for convenience sake, like 60 feet away from you. Uh, but now this thing is like attacking. Well, yeah, I'm going to acknowledge that and get back to business. Okay. Um, and I am going to throw a venom dart at. Wonderful. So uh, you see, um, and uh, I know you probably haven't had time to think of this. Do you think that is kind of like, like, is it like a, you know, you're kind of just summoning the, the sort of the poison. Do you think it's like a, a, a little visible kind of like streaking dart or is it so is it so fast they don't even see it you just see someone in range kind of like stumbling back like is there like a little physical projectile that people can follow or do you just kind of like point and they start you know gasping uh yeah there's a physical projectile but it's very very small so if you were far enough away it would just look like so yeah, yeah. so so uh if armament were here or synth devil they would see like a little Flying, but otherwise you guys just kind of see that this person she sort of like makes a throwing motion uh what is your to hit 22 22 hits so roll that roll that damage <laughs> 16 16 and uh you oh, no, do get 19 to, 19, oh, 19 even better and you do get to venom dart twice when you take that action oh i can do it yeah, twice? you go, you go, you twice go in one action. It's, like it's a, basically, yeah, it's like you. It's two attacks for you. Like a cool. cool, cool. Yeah, so you can hit okay. again. Uh, um, twenty six to hit. Twenty six definitely hits. All right. Cool. Twenty one. Twenty one. Oh boy! So quick forty points of damage to this thing as you, and it is like. It is howling as it does it, and it actually does have to make, um, it has to make a uh, constitution saving throw for both of those. Um, it succeeds on the first of 18 and fails the second, so it ha it is the poisoned condition disadvantage on all of its attacks and saves until the beginning of your next turn. Um, nice. What is, uh, and then you do have movement. Uh, how far away am I from the creature? It, it is about, like, 25 feet from you, and it's kind of definitely kind of, like, moving toward you. Um, the plane is about 60 feet from you. Got it. Um. And the facility's another, like, 100 feet that way. 100 feet So uh, basically, like, the opposite direction of the... So directly ahead of you, 25 feet, is the monster. About... about 60 feet to your left is the plane, and about 100 feet to your right is, like, the facility, and there's fences and stuff you'd have to get through. Got it. If I start moving to the right but keep engaged with him, would he get an opportunity attack on me? No, he, you, you don't... You're just out of range of his giant, you know, chomping hand, so you can definitely move. He's not He's not in... He's 25 okay, cool. feet away, so you can definitely move away from him without him taking a strike. Awesome. I want to start... Yeah, like running twenty to thirty feet to the right, okay. um, and staying engaged with him and keeping my eye on him, um, cool, cool, cool. but getting, yeah, perfect. So you right. you're kind of just continuing on towards the facility, but kind of just you know yes. you move your movement. You're just kind of like okay, okay, kind of keeping your back to it. Um, it is the monster's turn to go. Now the monster does look over and see that this plane landed, uh, but it is going to um, kind of just like ignore that for now and instead it is going to run 10 feet and attempt to sort of like jump towards you since you've kind of moved a little further it has a pretty big thing but 
uh, it is going to have to roll for it, and it will roll this check at disadvantage, as it is poisoned right now. Um... It, it is not able to move anywhere near its full kind of a jumping distance with its with its thing. However, it is able to get within 15 feet so it can attack you, not with its own bite, but with the bites of those uh, those giant snake arm garfish type things. So the first one comes at you at disadvantage. Uh, 15 hit your armor class? Good question, no. Oh, well, great. And... That's the last time he'll miss. Mm. Don't jinx it. Uh, seventeen. Nope. What is your armor class? Uh, nineteen. Oh, jeez. Okay. I, I should. That's the highest armor class I've ever played. <laughs> Don't worry, Philip. You're gonna hit me. It'll be fine. Uh, so it, it <laughs> bites at you two times, but it has kind of missed. So like, you're now in its stuff, but you're able to kind of just dodge, and you see that those those kind of uh, these snake-like mouths on its arms seem to be just moving a little slow, a little sluggishly, their own eyes a little bit kind of clouded by the poison uh, coursing through its veins. Findon, it is your turn. Um, we'll say you guys also, like, in that intervening time, you, you did, like, move to the jetway. So you're basically, uh, you're now 90 feet, rephrase that, you are 75 feet from the creature and 90 feet from uh, Ockley's. Um, I'd like to take um, uh, sort of like a running start and then jump and then try to basically bring like a two-fisted uh, f- down onto the, it's the creature's head. With your with your brawn factor and such, that is not a problem. Go ahead and roll your attack. Seventeen? Seventeen hits. Oh, hey. Ooh. Sweet. This is a big thing. You know, they they don't usually have the no, highest natural ACs. armor. I don't know. Yeah, it, don't it, know it has some natural armor, is. but it's not. You know, it's you've you've. Uh, if we had an opposite emote for you, you would have used it there. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. good. Um, and, uh, twenty-six points. Twenty-six, not bad at all. Um, all right, and, and I guess. I'll just take a second strike, whether or not that's still in the same moment or I I'll say you're it. you're kind of like you're on top of it, so you're you know, you can kind of half be punching down. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so much worse. Um I'm gonna add my D ten to it. Alright. Throwing the D ten on. Which is a ten, so that's that brings it up to a fourteen, which makes it a twenty five. A twenty five does hit, in fact. Yes. Oh I rolled a ten. But I was just adding, so it doesn't mean anything. Never mind. Yeah. Um, there you go. Uh, 29 points of damage on the second. Oh, those punches are not a joke. All right. Uh, so that gets to... Whew. Man. Um, so you've delivered some, some punches to this thing. Now, I'm going to say, uh, if you want to remain kind of up on its head... Uh, you can basically just make like a deck save to kind of stay up there. Otherwise, you can kind of just drop to the ground, and and it's not too far a drop. You don't think it'll be any damage. You can just kind of like you know like fall. Yeah, I'll just feet. yeah, I'll just fall down. Okay, cool. So you, um, I think I've gotten its attention. Um, it's uh, definitely got some attention. And I think that that's it. Oh, um, this is we have rested. Yes. Oh yeah, we, this is a couple yeah, days for, later. Okay. So yeah. Give back all HP if you were harmed, all uses of spells or any stuff like that. Um, and Lumen, it is your turn. So you see about about now, about 75 feet away, Findon jumped on this thing's head and started pounding it. Uh, Ockley's, you also look up and see there's just this bearded man in suspenders who's jumped out of the... He literally jumped over from the plane and started punching this thing. Um, cool. So it's 75 feet away. The... So- the person we, we don't know her name yet but she she's so if that creature is 75 she's 105 because she said 30 feet she's away. 90 it is 50 it has a 15 50. foot reach with those giant things got it okay so she's even farther than the creature she is further than the creature correct uh lumen will just dash i okay. guess and go 60 feet lumen will just get up by the creature yeah um oh Oh my god, wait, Volo Blast is 120 feet. Lumen will go 30 feet and then Volo Blast. Wonderful, go ahead and make your attack roll. 
Okay, that is a 19. That hits. Cool, cool. Uh, 30, 10. These guys. Ooh, okay, so that's 9, 15, 17 plus 6 is 23. 23. Not bad at all. Uh, you hit this thing in the back with light. It is definitely looking, like, bloodied from from this assault, and, and presumably, I'm not going to charge Ockley's any points for it, but, like, they already traded a punch or two here or there, so it was already, you know, a little bit of a fight. But 23 more is delightful. Um, so that takes us to V. So V, you have uh, four. You have three formations out with you. Uh, what would the four of you like to do? Uh, rise up into the air and all four Eldritch Blasts. Ooh, all right, here we go. So roll your four Eldritch Blasts. So V okay. ha- can create duplicates of herself who have like one hit point each. So like when they, they, they pop easy, but they can do anything she can do. So she is now a second level uh, warlock of the Archfey. So all of them can shoot. So if she puts them all out, she can have like eight Eldritch Blast beams at once, you know, at a single target if she wants to. On a turn. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I I Sorry. rolled all of that, by the way. <laughs> I didn't choose that. Yeah. I was just blessed with the powers. Um, so s- dirty 20. Hits. 21. Hits. Uh, tw- uh, 24. Hits. 17. Hits. <laughs> and let me so that roll is for you. That is 4d10 plus uh, four times your uh, your charisma modifier. Because you took that, uh, you took that old, that old much beloved uh, Eldritch Invocation. Hey, you know, my man Dustin. Your man Dustin. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I got uh, 13. Uh... 10, so it's 23. Okay. 20 plus 5, so 28 plus 7. 35. <laughs> I'm very bad at math. 35. Interestingly, you did actually need that 5 to do it. That, that one little five did do it. But uh, as you see these four beams, each one kind of almost colliding, these beams of kind of like green and, and purple energy, and you do smell a a slight sort of like the, the smell of like citric acid and ozone as each of those eldritch blasts hit. Um, each one of those kind of staggers this already poisoned monster slightly. And uh, with the, ju- it's like still on its feet. And as the last one impacts kind of just up kind of there, you know, <laughs> just kind of up under the jaw, it kind of... And both of the hands make their own sort of death rattles, and the whole thing just kind of falls over. Um, We'll say one is there, so... Uh, (laughs) Yeah, Finn, go ahead and make a a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, because I'm by it, that's right. Uh... Um... Hmm. 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 Cinco. Cinco. Um, plus. <laughs> plus what? Five. Zero. <laughs> plus zero. Okay. Uh, yes, it does in fact fall on top of you. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> we'll just say that's like a. There's just got a six general points of like. Ah, damage, you know. Oh, you could... Okay, that's fine. I I could... Where you're just like, "Eh, come on, but you can... I mean, it's not even... It doesn't even put you off your feet. You just kind of, like, push it to the side. And uh, there you go. So. And we're out of initiative? With that, you are out of initiative, and you see there's this woman standing about... About... About 15, 20 feet away from you, Finn Dunn, from the others you've kind of gotten out. And she's just standing there in, so, a, in a very makeshift looking, uh, very makeshift looking mask. So as I shrug off this King Kong like <laughs> figure off onto the ground and just sort of look over, 
I'll just call across. You okay? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, Great. What's, what's your Good name? Talk. She said thank you, but she doesn't seem to be thankful. Is that a normal human thing? Oh, um, <laughs> Lumen, right now, um, she and I both feel the same emotion, which is we don't know if we have to fight each other. I think she can see We don't know if we're friend or foe yet. Oh, okay. Are you a friend or a foe? Uh, who do you guys work for? We're the new top flight team. We're self-employed. We just started. The light. And you would certainly know that top flight is like, like the tops. It's like the Justice League or the Avengers. That's, yeah. Okay, cool. Um. Uh, well, I guess you're not my enemy. Yeah, not my enemy. Um, but I, I kind of have a thing to do, so. Ah, uh, thanks. Um, what are you doing on this abandoned island where lots of experiments happened? Just some research. Oh, us oh. too! Yeah, do you want to tag along then? Uh... Uh... I'm... I don't really like to tag along. But, um... I mean, I guess... I guess if there's any other really large monsters, that would be useful. So, um. Yeah, what are you looking for? You guys for? can tag along. Um, sure. Yeah, I'm I'm just headed to, to the facility over there. Uh, you know, looking for research, experimental research. What a coincidence. That's you exactly why we're out? here. What Are you looking to find indeed. out something about yourself or someone else? Um, it's kind of a personal question. <laughs> so, about yourself then? I understand. It's hard. So, you know, especially superpowers and all. Are yeah. you one of the experiments from Project Dynamo? Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head, head that way towards the facility. So if you guys, I guess. Oh, great. You know, I'll go with come... you. Are you one of the projects from Project Dynamo? <laughs> cool. I'm, I just start walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna reconvene and get next to Lumen and be like, those, those are questions we can maybe work up to. Great question. Though. Oh, Excellent okay. Question. I'll, 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 I'll divert. So we've met two other projects so far. Um, one is dead. He was called Baron of Darkness, so we don't have to worry about him well, anymore. But actually, his sister Lumen, seems very agreeable. Well, Lumen, um, I don't, I don't mean to nitpick, but he, would, <clears throat> but he was just Baron Darkness, not Baron of Darkness. There is like a slight semantic difference there. <laughs> At this Maybe point, you guys are just kind of like picking your, your way language? across, like a, 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 you know, a fallen barbed wire fence yeah, just yeah. Out of the side, sure. <laughs> Cool. Do any of these names just, like, pick up seem a familiar log, to me? Toss it out of the way. Excellent oh, question. Um, oh. Would you make a culture check for me? That's on your oh, is list that of a thing? skills. Yes. It is. Yeah, I don't think it is. Is it in this culture game? Culture is yeah. in this yeah. game. Oh, it is. Culture I, is in uh, this game. That being okay. said, Not great. Yeah, yeah. So look, we got to homogenize our systems. <laughs> Never. Every system <laughs> needs unique and weird things. I will Dirty say 20. Dirty 20. You are very familiar with Baron Darkness. Yes, he was like one of like the premier uh, superhero people. You were unfamiliar with the idea that he was a member of Project Dynamo. That is news to you. Okay. Um, that is very big news. And uh, saying that his sister, uh, did you identify his sister by name? Did you say? Uh, I would I, have, yeah. yeah. You would have. Uh, uh, hearing that Mind Game from a sort of a non-sanctioned superhero team uh, called uh, Rumor Inc., it's an all-female team of very interesting, uh, normal people. Um, oh, speaking of which, uh, I don't think I can actually do it. Uh, we do have a new, uh, stupidly overpriced uh, uh, bits reward um, emote. Uh, five thousand bits over. I think I think it's cumulative. So like everyone, calm down. But five thousand bits gets you uh, Susan in a bikini. Um, <laughs> It's it's a yeti. Susan is a yeti, and she's wearing a bikini. <laughs> no, it's not just like a, a lady. Amazing. Um, 
Yeah, so she's in there, and... Uh, I, I will work um, my way up to that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so in any case, uh, so Susan's a member. So I would say with a 20, you're familiar with who, who, who Rumor Inc. is, and you've heard of Mind Game. The idea that Mind Game is Baron Darkness' sister, that's crazy. So they're, that they're siblings, and they also came from Project Dynamo. This is, this is all news to use. Um, does here I, I'm just gonna do this rather than you know sharing screen or whatever these times. Uh, this is the this is the uh, Susan in a bikini. Uh, That's very excellent. exciting. That is the emote which was designed by our very own uh, our very own V. In fact, so um, oh very nice. Yeah, that was it, it was if you, you might recall it from our Discord long ago. Yeah. Uh, so in any case, uh, um, then as we're as Luminous talking, I'll sort of catch up and be like, um. I feel like we sort of skipped a very basic step here. We're top flight, yes. My name is Findon. You are. Ockley's. Uh, Ockley's. Nice to meet you. Does Ockley's look Polynesian? Because we established Uh, that all of the experiments before were... You you never ex- ex- oh. ex- uh, established that all of them were. You Oh, it's okay. Just, uh, all the ones we've met so far. The ones you'd met so far were. Oh, because Mind Game said that they were taking a ton of people that were like villagers or whatever on the island. So I just, I guess I filled in the blanks. They were taking people from the area, but uh, uh, there were Project Dynamos lots of places. I would uh, very, I would then like, I would say, nice to meet you. Um, Please lead the way. And I'm going to fall fall behind a few steps and pull up my communicator and go, uh, Synth Devil, please get me anything you can on an Ockley's. Understood. Um, I'd like you to make a, a sleight of hand check on that. Sure. Um, also, it's is, be terrible. is anyone, Why, subtle guy, are really any of the mean. others of you, uh, uh, actually, I'll just look so at your stuff to do it. That is so bad. You can always um, burn some, I, this is, I'm just trying to get you to burn hero dice early. I am uh, thinking so about it. sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, just kind of, you know, for, for basically you're trying to do this without being noticed. Okay, I'm going to add a hero die. I just need to figure out which one it's going to be. Um, 12. We'll do the 12. Sure. Because who needs to up their damage? I'm not going to roll a crit. It's not going to matter. That's much better. Um, I rolled the same thing. I rolled two sevens, so it's 14. A 14. 14 is uh, the passive perception of, of Ockley's. Uh, however, the tie always goes to the status quo. So Ockley's definitely notices you stepping back, but is probably being asked many invasive questions by Lumen at the time. So does not specifically to say, is... <laughs> overhear anything you're saying. Um, Synth Devil will reply, um, Ah, I would look into this indeed, Ockley's. Well, Ockley's is, of course, the Greek goddess of poison. <laughs> it is also the name of a minor criminal, uh, formerly in the employ of Baskerville, one of the agents of Temple. However, it was it would appear she had a falling out with said employer some time ago. She has not been seen to be working for her since. Do we all hear this? Nope, that is just been Okay. Thanks. Are you going to ask me how my day's going? No, it's fine. I keep getting something called DMs from the Hoboken Witch. You're in the the tower. Every one of your needs is taken care of. We're the ones in the middle of the jungle. I assume your day is great. Ours is awful. I fought a King Kong with crab (laughs) arms. Bindon, I thought that maybe we could be bros, but apparently not. I'm just like, there's a lot going on right now, Synth Devil, and look, you started this thing with Hoboken Witch. I started nothing! (laughs) Like, you really shouldn't have, like, slightly negged her and was invitational, so that's really on Hold on, on. I don't don't understand what what negged means. Let me look. Oh, oh no, never mind. We invented this in hell. Yes, of course, I understand. (laughs) We called it something else. Forgive me. Uh, he signed. Anyway, in order to, in order to, like, you probably heard me yelling about a jungle behind you, (laughs) and, like, you're in the tower and everything's fine. 
Because I don't I'm think I was very prevent, surreptitious about that. I'm trying to prevent Lumen from asking like two invasive <laughs> questions, knowing that it could potentially lead to uh, Kalia shutting down. So I, I'm just like, so where where are you from? This is this is uh, a deserted island. Funny running into you here. Right. Um, where are you from? Uh, from Alpha City. Born and raised, you know. I'm from another plane of light called Valu. Mm -hmm. Oh. Do I know any? <laughs> you probably about. wouldn't know Lumen's Oh, um, <laughs> Catching up, I'll just go 6-3. Oh. What, did, what does that mean? Uh, Alpha City. <laughs> right. Born and raised. Oh, it's where Top Flight is headquartered. I mean, we serve oh, well. the entire United you know, States, but the greatest metropolis in the country, in Connecticut. Yeah. That, that is true, by the way. Sense. The greatest, the 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 the, the city of the future, uh, the city of new beginnings, is is located in Connecticut in this universe because of a dice roll. Amazing. <laughs> um, uh, so, um, uh, if you'd like to, however, go ahead and I find you a. Uh, you could make a lore check on Valo if you'd like. Okay. Uh, or actually, no. Uh, you know what? You can make a religion check. Because of its religion kind of... will be twenty-three. Um, in your various readings and research into sort of divine things, uh, you have heard of this kind of like this plane of light called Valo. So okay. you actually have heard of where Lumen is from. Okay. Do I know um, anything about it? Uh, you know that it is a place where, like, darkness was personified or is personified. Like, like, like light is good and darkness is bad, and it's very kind of cut and dry like that. It's a quasi-elemental sort of plane, so, like, like certain certain mystics and religious people sort of theorize that, that like, like, light... Like, like, to whatever degree, light is not purely a scientific thing, almost, like, comes from a plane like that, the way that water might come from an elemental plane or, or fire might come from, like, some elemental force. Um, but, as is often the case with this stuff, there's so many cooks in the kitchen. Like, it's not, like, the only source of light in the universe, although Lumen would probably okay. strongly disagree with what I just said. Indeed, yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay, um... As they're asking me all these questions, I would like to make like, I don't know, a general perception check on all of them. Okay, sure. Uh, or an insight check? Like insight, yeah, just go, to get go there. Go do an insight check for me. Yeah. Mm. And I'll... Dang it. <laughs> 10. <laughs> they are not easy people to read. Um, okay. It also just may be the sweltering heat you currently find yourself in, the, the, just this kind of like weird place. The the now that you guys have like entered the the, you've like gotten over the fences here, you find that you're in. It's like it's very overgrown on the walkways, but you're now kind of within what used to be some kind of strange uh, facility, and you see a handful of buildings. Uh, a couple of them are like look much sturdier, uh, made of like concrete poured bunkers uh some of the others have even uh, one or two has even like collapsed was was a more sort of temporary you know kind of buildings um vaguely military but more kind of like research um you know scientific research uh you see a lot of like like top secret signs like no trespassing signs all that kind of stuff around okay and do i notice like any kind of movement or life there it looks pretty abandoned go ahead and make a reception check for that one so you kind of you're trying to get the read on these people you're like ah, these are weirdos and you glance uh, around not great okay um eight eight you you you're too distracted by lumen's questions um okay. sorry <laughs> I don't know if she's quite down to like boxers or briefs yet, but you know it's it's they're getting they're just just cool. going down the list of everything about your life. Um, so, what are you all doing? You're now kind of like in almost like the 
like the quad or the courtyard of this facility. There are there are two sort of bunkers, you know, like like single story things that look much sturdier, concrete pours, um, and then the rest would are sort we, of. Would we have brought any, or do we have any like scanning devices or anything like that, or do we just have to rely on our own? intuition i would say for a thing like this and the way superheroes are none of you are like the tech per like synth devil would have brought a tricorder like device but you guys are just kind of here to to glance around and punch stuff do i remember where um like what building do i recognize what building experiments were done in or like research was kept or like Certainly. machines were kept um i think uh Actually, you know, I didn't, I, I had not fully uh, decided this. I want you to roll a D. Let's say there were 12 facilities. Roll a D12. Eight. Eight. You have not been to this particular facility. You know this was like the largest and most robust, but you have never actually been here okay. specifically. There was another one that not at all. Okay. you might have spent some time with. That being said, the building directly ahead of you looks like what you know is the top of a sort of, uh, some kind of like elevator thing that's going to take you below because they usually would, would have the real stuff underground. Okay, then I just start heading towards that. Okay, cool. So... You see Ockley's look around and make a beeline towards one of these concrete structures. Oh, wow, you seem to know where you're going. I bet this is the one you were experimented on in. I ignore her. <laughs> no. I, I am just is that inaccurate? Yeah. at the moment. All right. Um, you come it's to the... It's probably right, but, you know, you I'll can... finesse it a little bit. You come to the, um, the doors of the facility. Uh, they appear to be locked. Uh, is is anyone good at unlocking things? Uh, Could Lumen just blast the door? I punch the doors. <laughs> yeah, like sure. So the two of you are like sure. So you just go. So both of you roll it. Uh, actually, just both of you roll damage on the doors. I won't even make you roll attacks. Okay. <laughs> we should each get a different door. Uh, <laughs> Contest. Twenty-two for Lumen's uh, door. 20, 24. 24. So one of the 25. doors lights up with kind of like almost like a like a like a white laser of just like pure light. The other one is punched by a man in suspenders. Um, and the doors kind of both like sort of buckle and a bit, but they seem to be like pretty solid blast doors. They won't hold up to a prolonged assault like that, but it would take a while to simply bust them down. Uh, um, I'll 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 take another swing at it and just say, and and as I'm doing so, it's like, it's because they're abandoned. I would normally knock, um, but I'll right. take another swing at the door. All right. Um, if you guys keep going for a few minutes, you will minutes. <laughs> wow. Pull just break the doors pretty pretty much apart. Oh, I'm just still trying um, to make superheroes. Makes and sense. you, uh, you, you do in fact like the door that you kind of been focusing on kind of falls off of its hinges and kind of falls inward, and you hear various like creaking, um, chunking can I sounds. Actually, do something in that that minute. Okay. As since um, Lumen, are you continuing to help me, or are you just sort of letting yeah. me kind of slug it? Out? Okay. Then in between punches, I'm just gonna call back to V and just say, V. Uh, yep. Can you uh, call in the Synth Devil and see if we can still track where Tantiana Temple's castle is? Sure. Thanks. I just want to make sure that it's been a few days. I want to make sure we're still tracking it. Um, Listen. That's it. Just in between, just in between punches, I just ask V to check in. Hello, V. Are you here to make fun of me hey, as well? No, never. I mm. am here to ask you, however, if you have a lead on where Tatiana Temple's temple is. Ah, I shall take a look. Thank ah. you. I'm sorry that Fendon was giving you a hard time. Its current position, interestingly, is in the Andes Mountains in South America. Is that where it no, was when we, where we put the tracker in? It was in the Alps. Oh, Alps. Yeah. Okay. 
Always, so far, always mountains. Mountains. Who's Synth Devil? Oh, he's, um, he's our colleague. He's our friend. He's our... He's a synthetic devil. I was oh. trying to <laughs> that. He's been very, very helpful Not to the most our original name, but accurate. Journey, though. Thank you, Synth. If All right, well, I was going to tell you about... Oh, four balls. Yeah, closed. Um, so the doors are knocked down as, as Ockley's is like... Synth Devil? Okay, yeah, you, you ha- probably haven't heard of Synth Devil. That's a, that's a new right. name. Um, uh, that was, he was, like, head of IT until, like, a week ago. <laughs> as, the, as you knock the door down, there is this pretty strong scent of, um, like, death and rot. Mm. Decay. Mm. Um, and you notice that you actually seem to have knocked the door down onto a couple of bodies wearing white lab coats. Can I? Uh, just okay, uh, just for off. clarification, long dead bodies? Yes, decayed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Decayed check. bodies. Uh, and you, you, sort of, you also look over on the other side and you see a few others, like, like on the door that you didn't knock down, because you guys said you were going like, to focus on just on one. On the door you didn't knock down, there's like a couple more and like a couple are like like dead, you know, like mm. in the middle of the thing, and like a couple like like dead, like clawing against the other door. Okay, yes. I'm gonna turn to Ockley's and say, did you know anyone who was trapped here? Uh not not to my knowledge. Interesting. I figured this place was abandoned, not eradicated. Uh, Lumen would like to do a medicine check to see how they died. Absolutely. Uh, it's going to be a pretty high DC, just so you know, because they have been dead a while, but go for it. Okay, um, I will roll advantage. Okay, so roll the D4 to see if you keep it. On a four, you keep it. Four! Hey, look at that. Keeping them hero dice. Okay. So then, boop. That's an option. It's an option. <laughs> People do it. Uh, okay, so that is... I believe Dan did it twice in one game. Dan does it uh, multiple times, all the time. Yeah. Uh, so I actually got 25. 25. Um, they appear to have been killed by some kind of, uh, like, intense, uh, like, physical trauma. Um, you, you see, like, sla- like, there's a lot of, like, dried blood on the backs of it, so, and you, you can tell that it was, uh, it wasn't, like, like, post-mortem wounds or whatever. They were, they were clearly, like, attacked in the back, um, by... Does it look like, like, claw marks or, like, an... It, it okay. looks pretty claw-like. Yeah, it looks bestial. Um, you see a few bite marks in some of the others. Um, you also see some claw marks, like, on the walls in here as well. Okay, so the claw, so they're claw marks, so they're not fingernail marks from the people trying to. Correct. You see something that is too okay. big for a human hand. Also, it is very, I mean, aside from like the light that's kind of shining in from this door you just knocked down, it's very dark in here. Oh, uh, Lumen will cast, well, she will explain what she just learned, and she will cast light. Okay. Uh, after Lumen does that, um, I'm going to look in the pockets of the all the lab coats. Uh, specifically for for anything, but specifically for um, like door like door keys or like identify like if we need to get indoors. Um, you you definitely see like badges on those little you know like pull off strings. No roll required, but make an investigation check as you go through some pockets. Sixteen. Sixteen. Um, the pockets contain like dead cell phones. That would probably be like, like iPhone fours, um, <laughs> yeah, iPhone four S's maybe. Been here, um, been here a while. And these look uh, like what Synth Devil has. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you also find a few. Um, uh, you find like <laughs> you find also some physical keys um, in the different pockets. These all seem to be the same make. You suspect these are keys to a barracks, like to like. Like to just apartment like housing somewhere here, um, for people's rooms. Okay. Um, but you do find a couple of key card type things for sure. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to those. Okay. Um. What does this room look like? 
This room is a is a actually pretty low ceiling kind of chamber. Uh, there's a few doors uh, that have been broken down and torn up, and you if you glance and you see there's a couple offices up here that had already also have some bodies in them. Um, then there's just kind of like a hallway that leads to a uh, uh, a torn open uh, elevator shaft. So it doesn't it? This looks more. Functional. This doesn't look like, a, say, like a lobby or something. Not a lobby, no. This is like a, like, you walk in and scan some key cards and whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to point to this sort of, like, tor- like the elevator shaft. That where we're going? I'm talking to you, Ockley's. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. What, what do, what are we expecting to find there? Just, just so we're prepared. Uh, machines, research. Possibly, perhaps, the corpse of the creature that did all this. Or well, maybe it's still alive. Uh, yeah. At least some or- darkness, right? We are hoping to find darkness. That's why we're here. <laughs> well, she seems to have a better idea than we do of what we might find there, because it seems like she's been here before. Um, the, I'm, I'm confused. I thought we were by. not meant to... Sp- Speak of that anymore. Well, th- there's some. Th- she, she's knowing what to look for to get to certain places. Is what I'm. The rules here. of Earth are very confusing. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of consistency or constants, Lumen. It's kind of a real like feel it out as you go. But Ockley's, it was right. Correct. Look, I don't think we're your enemy. But Unless you are an agent it. of darkness. I mean, do I, do very... I know what they're talking about with all the darkness stuff? Um, actually, you know what? You rolled high on, uh, on you know who Baron Darkness is and what his powers are. You know who right, Lumen okay. is and where she comes from. So I would say you, uh, are you proficient in insight? I am not. So make just make an insight check, but with advantage, because you you have all the pieces. Eighteen. Uh, despite Baron Darkness being like the most universally beloved nice guy in the world, clearly this woman who came from the Light Plane heard his name, met him, and said Satan. And <laughs> despite all of his efforts, she is sure that he is like the mastermind of all evil in the world. And then when he died, she was like, "Thank goodness he's dead." So oh, basically, wow. they're kind of messing with her by continuing talking about darkness. But she, she has some. Um, she oh, seems okay. to be like like capital L, capital G, lawful good. You know, it's Got very it. like. Well, and if you're dark, I have to burn you away in the holy light of radiant valo. Yeah. So there you go. Oh. Yeah. That okay. Kind of um. Um. But my question to you, like I said, I don't think we're your enemy. I just need to know something before we go down that shaft. Okay. Are you here to take something or to understand something? Um. Uh, understand would be nice. Is destroy an option? Probably. <laughs> Usually is been our really only We've got a head start with the doors. If that you tell us what helpful, you're looking yeah. for, we can help you. Um, I don't know exactly. I just, I just want every experimental machine research destroyed so it can never happen again. Oh, we can do that. Great. Also looks like someone may have beaten you to it, but I guess we won't know until we go down. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So, um, you guys get to the edge of this kind of elevator shaft. Um, there is no elevator car up here, um, and you look in, and with Lumen having cast light and kind of shining her sort of radiant glow about, you see that the elevator car cables are actually, like, dangling. 
having been severed. Ooh. And uh, if you look down, like like pretty far down, there is a um, there's like a wrecked elevator car at the bottom of the shaft. Can I can I fly down and see if the door is accessible? Absolutely. If you're just gonna fly on down, uh, I don't know that you can see in the dark though. So Lumen would have to give you unless you have like. I mean, if you, I guess you can have a flashlight. That seems pretty. I want to see, yeah. Okay, so you turn. I feel a flashlight. like if you're going into, Philip, I do feel like if we were going into like a banda facility, we at least have some of those like cracks and glow sticks yeah, thrown down the sure. elevator shaft. Yeah, for and sure. A mission. Yeah. All right, so yes, you fly down, uh, kind of shining your light about. Uh, it would be this guy for sure. Uh, so go ahead and make a perception check as you get down there. You're trying to see if the if the doors. Um, How far down is is it? It's about, about? like a hundred feet down. Okay. For don't her, jump. she can Got get it. down there and like twenty. She's yeah. She's yeah. Right <laughs> Wait, where's my percept? Oh, there it is. Uh, ten. Ten. Oh, right. So you look around, and I mean, you. I will say that you do see that, like, like within the ruins, you see a couple of arms, like, like sticking out of the broken, you know, um, elevator shaft. Uh, but you. Uh, you do see that the doors have been sort of pried, or honestly, these elevator doors, which are not as, like, sturdy as those blast doors up top, have effectively been, like, like shredded. Like, metal, like, ribbons, and almost. And we, we could theoretically fit through oh, them, right? Oh, you can, I mean, you, you can look through and you see sort of a hallway. Um, okay. But. So I'd like to fly back well, and oh, Okay, oh, perfect. Fly. In that case, yes, yeah, so you begin to fly back up. Um. Yeah, they don't even need to, uh, um, you would never even, didn't even see him at all. Uh, as you sort of just leave the area, you feel just this sharp, stabbing pain in your chest. Um, you, the rest of you hear, like, a clattering of a, of a flashlight, um, down below as you're looking. And Lumen, could you make, uh, or, Jesus fucking Christ, uh, V, could you make your, uh, could you make your wisdom saving throw? Ooh. Oh, 19. Okay, so you, V hangs on, doesn't kind of go momentarily catatonic. Uh, and you can, so basically you didn't see it, you don't know what it was, but something shredded you with sharp, sharp, presumably claws. Okay. I will fly it back up. Uh, no, you, you, there's no flying, you. Oh, oh wait, I'm... Uh, wait, did you go down or did you send a formation? I went down. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, then. Different thing entirely. So, you... I reconvened a while ago. Well, now yes. we know how stupid that was. Okay, so you, so assumed you, you, assumed you did. Sent, I assumed you I, sent a person down. I'm so sorry. So, uh, so you take, uh, you take 17 points of slashing damage from the first attack. Okay. You, that one will hit as well. Uh, you take, oof, uh, 23 points of slashing damage from the third attack. Uh, these are just the op attacks as you left their reach. You take uh, you take 19 from the third, and if the fourth one also hits you with absolutely none were crits though, that's good. Uh, you take uh, 20. I'm dead. So you guys hear her like knocked unconscious. Now the last one was just slashing, so that's 20. So make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, the DC of this is 10. Thirteen. Okay, so you are not dead. You are still conscious with one hit point. Um, and you can't even see what just hit you. Like, your flashlight has fallen. All you feel are these, like, slashing knives raking through you. Um, and the rest of you hear her screaming and see, like, the light fall. So, yes, retcon that. I assumed that you had sent a formation down. No, it's just V. So V just got shredded. Uh, um, Uglies, so are you able screaming. to fly? Light drops. Mm -hmm. I jump down. Cool. Oh, uh, please. Yeah. Can you fly? Yeah. Okay. It's not my can, favorite thing, but yeah. Can you also carry me down? Sure. Thank you. I do appreciate that. All right, we so... are we are fast becoming friends. <laughs> so Findon's okay. falling. You are carrying Lumen. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll initiative wow. here. Lumen, I'm proud there of you. you. You're learning. <laughs> She's not your bestie immediately. This is great. <laughs> well, now we're best friends, and you'll tell me all your secrets. I'll tell you all mine. 
Do I, mean, I even roll initiative? You to be fair, you have one hit point. You, one hit point. <laughs> you succeeded on. So even though you should have zero, you have your heroic fortitude. You 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 only took twenty points of damage roll of thirteen on the context, so you're still up with one. Okay. So yeah, you definitely roll. Also, if you haven't used your uh, hero d6 yet, you might want to throw that in at some point here. You, know? you can heal with. You them. could literally do that right now if you wanted, or you could wait until you dropped and then use it to come back up. Um, if you fear dropping, okay. So uh, I do have to roll. Uh, okay, that's great for you guys. Wow. Uh, okay, so. Um, All right, uh, anybody over 20 or higher? I got a 20. You got a 20, all right. B with a 20. Um, anybody uh, oh, 15 or higher? Cool, 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 tight, tight, tight. Anybody 10 or higher? 13. 13, and what is your uh, uh, what is your uh, dexterity modifier, uh, Ockley's? Oh, um... Uh, me, 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 me. Where the... Oh, there it is. Plus three. Plus three. Okay. And I got a ten. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, actually, uh, Ty goes to you. Okay. Um, perfect. Okay. One of these things gets to go first. So, uh... Oh, I have a seven, by the way. Oh, I'm Thanks sorry. for asking. That is a flat seven, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Ockley's and I rolled the same. Okay. So... I have a zero yeah. to my deck. So, uh, so, 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 uh, V, you're kind of, like, staggering up, and we'll say that in the, like, shine of the light here, you see, like, like, silhouetted stepping up against, like, a, an illuminated, uh, kind of, like, wall behind you, one of these creatures. It seems like it is made of knives. It seems like it is made of living steel, and its hands are, like, Edward Scissor hands, but so is its face and its whole body. And it is just like slashing towards you and trying to rake itself across you. You, however, see it so it no longer has advantage on this attack. Because that's really why they're all hitting. Although that is going to a, uh, uh, I assume a 22 will hit. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> you're having an interesting day here. Um, I rolled much lower on the damage though. So it's, uh, so, so uh, don't even, uh, just make a constitution saving throw to try to stay up with one. Laura, you showed up and they're starting to die. Dirty 20. Dirty yes. 20. So you managed to still, like, despite, like, knives in you, you're just like, hold on, hold on. Okay, gotta hold on. Here we go, here we go. You know, now if you split, you you finally have formations who have your, your level of uh, hit points. That's great. Uh, but V, it is your turn in response. What would you like to do? I'm going to split into all eight as my bonus action. Okay. And all of them are going to Eldritch Blast. Are you focusing on just one? Wait, I thought it was like one creature that was just knives everywhere. There seem to be four of them. Oh. That's why oh. you got four, four up You took four up attacks. So there's like they and and they were kind of ready for you since they heard you pounding on the doors for minutes. Mm. So they okay. kind of crawled up mm. and saw you and slunk back down. <laughs> So, so here's a question. Yes. Can Bill V, like, go up to the next floor and, like, sit in one of the, like, doors in the formations attack? So, or is that, uh, that so, so what you can do, because you can bonus action split into formations, you could use V's action to disengage and fly up so they don't op attack you again. Because you're mm -hmm. surrounded by these little things. Um, so you can, you can, you can disengage and fly up, and yeah, and then you can have your formations just stay down there and shoot. Okay. Be aware that if they die, it's gonna be, if you fail a save to, like, not faint, you might fall. Yeah, it, okay. Okay, I'll just stay down there and the formations will surround. So, you wall the formations and they all take Eldritch Blast, are you gonna focus fire? Yeah, yes. Go for it. Okay. I roll this, this, okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, so I got a 
17. Does not hit. Kind of oh my bounces God. off the off the stuff. Uh, this one's not. That's one uh, 13. Uh, 15. 24. That one hits. Okay, and then so their AC's a... 24 or higher. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, and then 20. Hits. Oh, okay. Okay, and then we'll roll. So that's four attacks so far. Okay, so... Uh... Uh, n- 19. Just misses. That's a, that's a, that's a missed by one emoji moment there. Uh, 19 sure. and another 17. That's not going to hit. So you uh, have... And then four, two more. Two more, yeah. So 14, not going to hit, but uh, 24. 24. So three of them hit. So roll 3d10 and add your charisma modifier three times. Come on, baby. Um, so six, four, and five. Six, and four, and five. Okay, so it's fifteen. Nice. Or does that include your? Does that include your modifiers? That includes it. Yeah. Under first, so that's fifteen points. Okay. These seem a little kind of hardier. These things. They're and they're also kind of quick. You know, they're they're they kind of. Kind of are, are getting out of the way of the blast, but three of them find purchase. Lumen, you are uh, currently in the arms of an of an of an Ockley's. In the arms of an Ockley's, uh, you can you do see creatures like illuminated about a hundred feet below you. Uh, Findon's falling body body kind of makes it hard, but you could certainly valo blast the one that you just saw getting like hit up by uh, by radiant light, or by by eldritch blasts. Um. Well, I have a. Is it dark down there as well? It is. It is. It is dark down there as well. Yes. There's no. There's no like lights on. Okay. There's a uh, flashlight like on the ground, kind of like you know, casting creepy yeah. shadows on the walls. But can I ready an action and also do a bonus action? Sure. But well, wait. How at this point, how far down are we? Because I'm not controlling my movement, right? You are she, not. Yes. Is, yes. Uh, Ockley's is going to fly you, and Ockley's has not yet begun. I have not yet begun to fly. Okay, never mind then. Um, so that won't reach. Uh, will this? Oh yeah, you have healing. That's right. <laughs> These fine. No. Okay. Um. <laughs> can I, I? I. I just want to ready an action then. Okay. Um, for when we get down there, I want to cast daylight. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Uh, once you're in the zone of daylight. And what is the range on that daylight spell, actually? 60 feet. 60 feet. Okay, cool. Well, then, yeah. Perfect. All right, so as soon as you're 60 feet away, you will put a daylight spell down there, just just brightening the whole area. Uh, wonderful. Uh, Ockley's, you are next. Cool. So I'm flying down there. Is there um, places that Lumen and I can kind of perch above so that we're not right in the jaws claws of you these. you can hover if you want to but there it's like this isn't like an elevator that goes to multiple floors it seems like this goes to one spot and it's that down there unfortunate okay yeah. um and it would be pretty tough for me to hover and like throw darts while holding lumen it would That's be but i mean option. look she's 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 holding on to you you've got an arm around her you you got an arm free you can you can you can shoot some darts if you want to. Okay, cool. So I can like hover. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try that then. Okay. Um. I'll tell you what. I'm, make I'm an try acrobatics it. check for me. Because I believe the range of your venom darts is also okay. sixty feet. So your fly speed's Correct, thirty. Yes. So make an acrobatics check for me. Okay. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. So basically, you're like, okay, we kind of need to get down, like, not all the way down there, but down there to an extent. So you grab onto Lumen, and then you free fall about, about 30 mm-hmm. feet, and then okay. catch yourself. So you guys, are you fall, free fall 40 feet, so you kind of go a little further than your movement should just because of, you know, gravity. And uh, so now uh, your daylight spell goes off. The entire area... <laughs> is lit up by bright light and you see these creatures they're maybe like three feet tall um they look 
they they they're just kind of like spiky. They have long, the, the hands are longer, and the faces are very sharp, and the body has little knives sticking off. But there's, uh, it looks like organic metal almost. It looks like something that was like like grown to be steel. Um, there's a, there's an animalistic quality. They don't seem like constructs. They definitely seem alive. But whatever, whether it's hide or bone or some kind of exoskeleton, whatever it is, it's it's me- metallic and kind of like like kind of dull black metal and sort of shining in the in the kind of daylight that now went. Does daylight do any damage, Lumen? I don't think it I does. I think it just um, makes incredibly bright light, right? Yeah. It, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so yes, but the the whole area is just just very easy to see. I will I will say their their usual ability to um, uh, to hide in the shadows is is utterly taken away from them. They they won't be hiding anymore. You you see where all four of them are. Um, so as that happens, now you can easily target them and you can shoot your. Um, uh, uh, Aikless or Ockley's, you can shoot your venom joints. Does it look like there's a leader? Um, as far as you can tell, no. One one seemed to have gotten like the jump and kind of attacked attacked again, but it doesn't seem necessarily the leader, but that one is the one that has taken some damage. Okay, I'll go for that one then Perfect. and try and um yes. So And these are basically look like creatures made entirely of knives. They look like knife people. Yes. Imagine like a. Because immediate, what I immediately pictured was like the insects in um, Starship Troopers, but it sounds like that's not the case. No, they're more like a. Imagine like a. Uh, they're kind of like a. They look almost like goblins that are crick- like, but they're like knife goblins, like a like the, like the Norkers Actually, yeah. were sort of in, sure. in earlier D and D editions. Yeah. Okay. Knife goblins, got it. Kind of just because they're little like that. They're little and they're quick, mm-hmm. and it seems like when they hit you, they're like raking you with their body and their claws and everything. They're kind of so they do a lot of damage, but they don't look like absurdly sturdy or anything. Okay. Uh, so, Ockley's, are you? Did you take? You're taking a shot. Yeah. Uh, one was a fourteen. One was an eighteen. Um, neither of those are able to sort of Great. penetrate their. Uh, they're kind of like their, what I was. They're quick. Kind of like, <laughs> And in fact, you guys are suspecting they have AC-20. Gross. Yeah. Um, Real gross. All right. So, with that... Aikley's turn over. It is... uh, uh, They now get to go. Uh, So, dang. Uh, So, still only target for them is... uh, Actually, Findon is falling. So, I'll say Mm -hmm. two of them are just like... Like, see this figure falling and look up. Now that there's light, they see, like, a shadow. So two of them kind of just, like, step aside, and their plan is to, as soon as he's in range, they're just going to try to attack. Uh, but the other one is going to still attack you. Uh, um, v. My formations are in front of me. So that is true. Me. So it instead attacks a formation. Uh, a 22 will hit, so just roll a wisdom save on that. DC is now 17. No, it's not. You haven't lost any. DC still 15. Oh. Uh, 23. So a formation pops, and it seems very confused. It's kind of funny. It's like... <laughs> um, all right. Uh, with that, the other ones are holding their action. Findon, you land. So the first thing you need to do is roll a strength saving throw to do a perfect, like, three-point, you know... Three-point, that's what, three I'm, point that's super what I'm after. Landing. Strength saving throw? Yeah. I mean, that's not great. Um, yeah, we're fine. 14. 14. Okay, so you will take half damage of the falling. Of the 100 feet you fell. So 10d6. Uh, so 12. I rolled terrible on that one for you, so that's good. 12. Oh, wow, so many twos. This is great. 12. Tw- uh, half of 23 is 12 points of damage. As you land and you're, you kind of go into the three-point landing, it's but you definitely... Done feel the impact there as you kind of ah, kind of half twist an ankle or something. Um, and then the two who are holding their actions just are just like slashing into you. Uh, yeah. So the first one rolls a 17. That'll hit. Alright, the second, Not hard to hit. second one rolls uh, also a 17. 
So, from the first one, ooh, but I roll terrible damage, you will take uh, 10 points of damage. And from the second, you will take uh, uh, 20. And they're just... Ooh, <laughs> total. Got it. Slashing. And it's just these, like, sharp knife things, and you, you hear them, like, wheezing and breathing, and it's this very, like, fetid breath that they're breathing. But it is now your turn. So yeah. two of them are on you. One of them just attacked a... a a, a V formation, and the other is kind of like off on the side, kind of, yeah. you know, in the light. But I'll look at the two that just slashed at me and just go, my turn. And I'll take a punch at one of them. All right. Good God, this is terrible. Uh, 16. It ducks. All right. Second attack at that same one. Yeah. Even worse. All right. I'm going to spend my D8. Yeah, roll it. Roll an eight. You'll get two. Of course not. I rolled a four. Fair enough. So I'll take another, I'll take another two attacks. Okay. That. Well, at least I'll, I'll swing once at that guy, at that same one. There we go. Uh, 23. 23 definitely hits as you punch that one. Uh, you do take, ah, but I roll very bad. You take one point of piercing damage in res- or a slashing damage in response. Uh, one point. Okay. Yeah. Mark that down right I rolled quick. as bad as is humanly possible on that, so there you go. Um, okay, 12, 17, uh, 30 points of damage on that hit. 30 points of damage. That yeah. one looks like... That one looks like it's 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 very close to being out. Um, I'm going to hit it again. Perfect. 18? Um, yeah, 18. 18 does not hit. Okay. Ducks. All right, but top of the round is the other one. It will also attack a formation. Uh, it will miss, actually, with a with an 11. I assume your AC is higher than 11, Ooh. right, V? Yes, it there is 14. There you go. 14. So this one slashes at a formation, but, but she sort of manages to get out of the way. V, it is now your turn, so you have all your, all your formations around you, or six of them around you, plus you. Seven actions. Yes. And can I go ahead and use my healing dice? Sure. So roll a d6. Mm-hmm. A and two. A two. Okay, so yes, all you do is roll 2d8 and add your con modifier. You get all those hit points back. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing. Lumen, you'll be next, Four. by the way. And then, mm-hmm. and then Ockley's. So wait, Philip, does that mean that if I... Ten? Ten. Oh. Ten, um, you get ten hit points back. So they don't... Uh, so they don't... Uh, if I roll, ever roll a six in that, am I rolling 12 D12? That is correct. Uh, okay. Correct. Okay. Okay, so now I have... Only seven formations available. Correct. Six and formations plus I'm just, you. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna just blast. All right. El- Eldritch blast. Just blast and blast. Try to fuck him up. Cool. Okay. Okay. Fifteen plus seven. Hits. Twenty-three. Okay. Um, seventeen does not hit. Seventeen does not hit. Uh, 20. Hits. So two hits so far. You got three more attacks. Okay. okay. Uh, not 20, so 27. Beautiful. Hits. Well, that's double the dice. Uh, it is, yes. One. That does not hit. Doesn't hit. And then, uh, 26. Okay, so, uh, you had four hits, one crit, so roll 5d10 and add four times your charisma modifier. Um. That is so much... Okay. Um, and Lumen, let's go ahead so, and uh, you can kind of do a turn here if you'd like. Uh, well, well, uh, Lumen, I want to roll the extra action dice and the upgrade damage dice. Wonderful. So uh, you're going to do the, act, the extra action. So, uh, so what are you doing with your first action? Like you're not extra action. Um, Volo blast. A volo blast, great. All right, so you take a volo blast. Um, actually, how much damage? 
32. 32. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that, that kills the one you'd previously done. Uh, I'm just going to give a little bit of spillover. I'm just going to give some spillover to the one that uh, Findot was already hitting. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so, so your targets are two that have not been hit at all, and one who is looking really bad. Who do you want to volley blast? Really bad. Really bad. Okay, make your attack roll. Try it forever to get rid of that nickname from cool. Really bad, and that's the name he'll die with. <laughs> uh, 21. 21, that hits. So roll your damage, and if you're going to spend your upgrade damage dice, are you doing that now? Not on... Not on this one, no. Understood. Okay. Okay. Um... Twenty-six. Twenty-six obliterates it. All right. Oh. So now you're going to spend an extra action. Roll your D eight. Let's see if you get two extra actions. Because wouldn't that be a world? So one. <laughs> it's a loop. One. Okay. So you have one extra action. Okay. Um. And then another volo blast on a different one. Okay. Perfect. Can I get No, it's fine. Yeah. Uh 24. 24 hits. So roll uh, so you're upgrading your damage? Yes. So d12. roll the d12 and if you roll a 12, you get to roll d20s instead. <laughs> I got a 2. It's fine. Okay. So <laughs> roll 3d12 and add your modifier. Okay. Nice. It's still so much. Yeah. <laughs> good bit. It's a good bit. Okay. You realize you rolled D12 through your of blast. No, she rolls D10. She D10s. spent the D12 to upgrade. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. 33. 33. That one's already, like, not. That one just got a, had a bad day. Uh, Ockley's. So yeah. she just oh. dealt a lot of damage to one of them. At kind of like cool. with her hand on your, you know, on your yeah. shoulder because she's just riding like a, like a baby or a, a monkey. Um, what would, <laughs> what, uh, so there is one who's taken no damage, one who's taken a lot of damage. Who would you like to, or what would you like to do with your action? The one that's taken a lot of damage, does it look close to death or still got a lot? It way looks to pretty go? close to death, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll hit that one first. Cool. Or, it, or I won't, or so won't. I roll a nat one. <laughs> well, you get two shots, though. So yeah, that one. Oh, wait, a nat one? Yes. Because that was one of the ones that was attacking Findon. Hey, Findon. Oh, no, I know exactly what's going on. Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, you son of a oh, no. bitch. I'm going to use my d4. She you misspoke. Should. She misspoke. That is not what she wrote. <laughs> but I do have advantage. You are the one yourself? Well, no, I rolled a one for the the D four, so I don't get oh, it back. Okay. Okay. But I have so I have Still advantage. Have advantage. Twelve. Sixteen. Sixteen. You do manage to get out of the way. They are hard to see, but thanks to all the light, you do see this kind of like vaguely green dart of pure poison, just yeah, like gonna... missing and oh. nearly scraping you. That's his <gasps> weakness. Wait. I may, not have, I may not have clocked the actual thing. Yeah through, but I definitely recognize when you something like, gets ah, places. Ah, but you did not, you did not do it. However, so you can make your second attack roll if you'd like. Uh, uh, Ockley's? Yes, I just realized something. Okay. What? Um. Okay. Second attack is a 21. 21 hits. Um, oh, would you like to spend your d12 and also upgrade your damage? You can do it later if you think I... on another occasion. No, I, I would like to do okay, that. Okay, <laughs> so roll. So first, roll that. So take that hero d12 and roll it. Okay. The ones we set aside earlier. Yes, yes. yes. And if you roll a 12, you're gonna roll 3d20. Seven. You don't get that, but roll 3d12 instead of 3d10 for your damage. Oh, 3d12. Okay. Yeah, because you've upgraded the damage. Okay. So a nine. Cool. Three, and a six. Dead. Oh, nice. So okay. you take it around. So now there's only one left. Um, At the end of Ockley's turn, yeah. I'm going to use my d20. Hero d20. Here we go. So before it can go again. Of course. Uh, 
It's a six. We're, uh, sure. So I'm going to take my turn now. This is not a time where rolling that 20 is even that helpful because there's not going to be another full round. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so so go ahead and take. Be nice your, uh, to know that it's possible. Exactly. So um, you'll get your. You're going to get your your uh, actions. Yeah, here. I'm going to go up and I'm going to. Uh, punch this thing. That's this what is, I do. I punch things. It, <laughs> it is still the one right by you, so you don't even have to move. Go for it. Uh, modified twenty hits. That's a terrible roll. Um, Shocker. Twenty-two points of damage. Okay. You you do suspect it is bloodied by that, although you do take six points of slashing damage from the impact on its mm-hmm. on its knife body. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> you can't punch me. I'm made of knives. I will punch it again. All right. Fifteen. I mean, you have you haven't you haven't burnt all your hero dice yet. You can always try to get it over. The... No. Fair enough. I'll hang on. To this. All right, V. It is. I'll let it have one more turn. V. It is your. Uh, oh yes, it does get to go now, and then it is your turn again after it. So this thing yeah. will will slash back at you. Uh, mm-hmm. You know what? It won't. It is going to disengage and scamper out of, over like the the wall. Having seen what just happened to the other ones, it makes a noise which, if any of you spoke knife monster, would be like like fuck the what? But uh, <laughs> instead, it just sounds like. Shrah, shrah, shrah. Uh, and it kind of just dis- kind of like cannily disengages from you and just scampers up over the broken uh, elevator wall and you hear like some like slashing kind of paw mark sounds uh, on metal flooring and then you don't see or hear it any longer. I'm just like holding <laughs> my bleeding body yeah. like, well, so much for uh, trying to do things myself and not sending my formations to do everything for me uh for we with, um with that Oculus and and lumen do reach the kind of like you're you're almost standing on top of this kind of like uneven terrain of the broken elevator cart um well honestly that's not the worst we've done yeah it's pretty okay actually how's everyone doing aside uh, from me well, all of you look pretty rough, so it's hard to gauge. I don't actually know how your powers work, V. I don't know if, like, this is an illusion. Actually, yeah, not. all all of your formations uh, are, like, injured and, like, oh! Because oh, no. uh, uh, you split I'll afterwards, yeah. You'll the you them. Okay. remaining formations. Sure. Lumen will uh, use healing glow on V. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see, 3d8. And, oh, yeah, because you can, you can also... You can do that, but now you've also just straight up got spells, too, if you ever want to go crazier. Yeah, that's a lot to read at the moment, so I'm just going to do Healing Glow. I'm just... makes sense. I think that makes a lot of sense. 24. Very good. Yeah. Okay. That's how many points I get back? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> and she you. can she can give you a couple more of those if necessary later on. Uh, but... Yeah. Um, well, let's hope there's not too many, much more of that. Um, yeah. uh, I'll try to um, pry open the doors. All right, make an athletics check. It's so insulting. It's so <laughs> insulting. <laughs> I literally have one thing. I have one thing I do. The dice disagree. Modified 20. A modified 20 is sufficient for you to, what you do I have kind a of. Plus 15. You kind of like you. You also kind of are like. Uh, let me just. You sort of. Uh, you 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 reach down below where the tops of them were shredded open, clearly by the concerted efforts of these creatures, and you just kind of push the doors open. And uh, yes, you see sort of a a a a couple of hallways out here, looking in on like glass coated uh, or glass coated, like like windowed. Uh, think Westworld, kind of like windowed. You know research chambers and such many of which are painted with long dried blood slashed over the the area so an, so an apple store sure and you see um you see tons of like like slash marks all over the ground here as well as if those creatures this is kind of more where they're usually hanging out uh, another thing that's interesting is as you as you enter kind of climb down into this area um 
you uh, you do feel like the like the bit of a breeze. There's definitely like a musty smelling, but like you feel air moving here and there. I'm gonna at this point I will sort of turn to Ockley's and I'm gonna just sort of like roll up my sleeves as I turn. Look, I'm not accusing you of anything. I don't actually know what you do and do not know about this place. But if there's more of that ahead, it would, I would be appreciated in getting the lowdown. I don't really uh, want to get stabbed anymore. Me either. It's not Felt pleasant. Like uh, Philip, I don't actually know anything about these monsters, right? I've these, never seen them. I would say these are, you've never seen these but you've seen their like before. Um, you haven't seen living knife things okay. that were, like, they're clearly not metal because your poison was just knocking them down. Uh, but you've seen weird experimental, like, making okay. a making a, making a a little army of creatures who are made of knives to go in and just, like, you know, kill people rapidly. Totally the kind of stuff Project Dynamo's been making. Cool. Okay, so yeah. they were making it at the facility I was at. Yeah, they they made stuff. I saw like some these. kinds of this. Okay. Yeah. Um, with that knowledge, would I think that there's more of them? Um, you certainly, based on the thing you saw outside and these, uh, you yeah you, since things are living, it would it would make sense that more might be alive. Okay. Uh. I mean, if we're being honest about it, I would assume that there's more ahead, yeah. How Anything this... more, let's say intense, let's say bigger, or is that pretty much the norm? Uh, like... I wouldn't be, I mean, I'd, I honestly, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was worse. If Baron Darkness came out of this place, who knows what else they have. We might just be lucky that he and his sister ended up good. Uh, well, I mean, we, that's, I, that's He's not, just... I, I just, we, we have, we now have I, the definitive evidence. It, um, I, 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 if I recall, uh, Lumen, not to like, you have not been granted permission to speak ill of the dead. But, so... Yeah, um, that would. You can have your opinion, correct. though. Yes, you, can have your you opinion. are right. Yes, it will be uncouth. I don't know. That, how that, that being said, other things that come out of here may are very bad. Um, it, but could be potentially way more powerful than nothing. And come to think of it, the thing that we ran into ahead of time—that probably wasn't natural to this environment. At the moment, there's nothing around us that looks well, dangerous, right? We're just kind of in like a you're in like a, a, a lobby place. area, and it's interesting you ask that because uh, if you if you start actually go ahead and make a perception check, you can do this. But of the rest of you, uh, Lumen alone uh, would have noticed based on that. Well, what is your role? Yeah, that one was caught. Fourteen. Fourteen. So just your state basically. So uh, I believe because uh, V, you are a uh, your perception factor. You'd see it over features and traits. It is. Uh, I think you're a one, right? Yes. But Lumen is a two. So Lumen has a passive of eighteen. So Lumen notices uh, kind of before you wall, and even as you're looking around, uh, like some like slow footsteps walking uh, out of a hallway. Um, and Lumen, you see someone like wearing a uh, like a white cloak. And kind of like there's like this like purplish, odd glow, sort of over its over its head. It, it looks like a living human being in a white coat, um, but something's very wrong. And it is kind of just raspily sort of saying, you kind of point and look, and then all of you can see it. Uh, and it's saying, uh, God would like to see you." Um. Thank you. When you say when you say glow, its like, head there is this like weird purple energy around its eyes and kind of drifting up almost smoke like over its head, little motes of, of like purple blue light that sort of glow with black around them. Do um, I recognize? And I was also um, given our recent. 
And also, given our recent uh, in encounters, does this register as something that is undead? Um, make a perception check. And uh, let's have old Ockley's make you uh, you you've been studying this up a lot so why don't you make a uh, why don't you make a medicine check as you're kind of glancing at this okay 15 is oh. my perception 15 uh it does not appear to be undead it seems to be alive but it seems to be kind of acting very weird and it's very like emaciated and and looks very like, okay. like Decrepit. Okay. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Would you like to throw any of your uh, your hero dice on top of that? That's another thing. Sometimes when you have like a nineteen or a twenty-four, and you want to push yourself over the edge. Uh, sure. Which one do I? Which one do I do for that? Um, you can add any that you'd like. So I would recommend doing one you don't think you'll do later. Um, I would say a D ten is probably a good bet for you because. Uh, actually, maybe not. Right. Uh, a D10's okay. a good bet for you. You're, you have absurd saving throw stuff, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll do a D10. All right. Uh, plus six to that, so 25. With a 25, you uh, definitely recognize that glow as something that was happening to a lot of the... Um, you encountered at your time in a facility certain members of uh, certain uh, creatures of Project Dy Dynamo who who were being sort of made very specifically for like mind control and like mental okay. things like that. Okay. Um, uh, is he in hearing distance right now? This person is in hearing distance. Yeah, he's about like 30, 40 feet down the hall. He's kind of shuffled out. Oh, he's not. It, uh, yes, oh, the person not? who's talking to you is in hearing distance. Yes, you can hear him. Oh, he is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll keep that knowledge to myself right now. Understood. <laughs> Does the that glow you were talking about, is that look like... Is that darkness? Is, is this another, like... <laughs> the I glow mean, this is, is what not, we came for. The glow is not dark to you. The glow is... It, it, okay. The glow is radiating a purple, weird light. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it is saying God would like to see you. But it's like gesturing. And then sort of turns, just kind of shuffles with a bit of a limp. Do I know oh. what he means by God? Have I heard that term before? Um, I like, think you suspect like, that it is talking about another entity created in these things. I mean, you are named mm -hmm. after a, you know, you're named after a God. They would often use various God names for this stuff. Okay. But I, no one ever used like the term "god" around. You don't you, that that's not familiar, but it's it's. A, okay, a but I get thing. okay. Yeah. So it's definitely a, okay. I got it. Yeah. Um. Uh. I don't know that we have any other options at the moment. Yeah, I um, I think we should just go with it. Okay. I'll start following uh, the thing that yeah. says God wants to see me. I start following him. All right, you guys kind of walk down. I will recast the light cantrip. Light, so you are all kind of glowing and the four of you make your way down. You notice in the rooms to either side, there's all various, like, tanks and things with, like, rotting, unimaginable creations that have died and are abandoned. Tentacled things. Uh, chimeras of various different animals sort of sewn together, much like the one you saw above. Um, all sorts of strange and and impossible sort of creatures. Um, you, uh, you guys turn a corner and you come into sort of like a larger uh, a larger facility that has had some of the walls ripped away. Uh, it's kind of like one of those like, like 
cool caves in a Bond villain where some of it is like exposed rock kind of underground, like in the side of a volcano or whatever. Um, but in here, it seems that like additional something has happened. And so you actually do feel a breeze coming through here and you can hear like running water as it almost as if they have broken through some of the rocks in here that were originally just part of the walls and, and found their way to natural caves to escape. Um, the holes are large enough that that might explain where that, that, uh, fish-armed ape came out of. Uh, but in this room, you see numerous sort of, like, like odd sort of creatures and people just sort of sitting around. Um, the, the people all have that same glow over their heads, and, um, uh, and as you're kind of glancing about, uh, uh, you do see one kind of injured knife thing kind of, like, lurking over in the corner, but it's, it's sort of like the, kind of like the focal point of this room sitting in a tank um, is this young woman maybe like like 20 early 20s it looks like um, and she is like suspended looking almost uh, catatonic in a tank of some yellow liquid um, and then a speaker box turns on and she says welcome I am God. Sort of not what I expected, if I'm honest. Her what, mouth doesn't the... move at all, but uh, was, okay. she That's what I was gonna She's ask. just kind of catatonic in there. I am God. Do you... Why do you seek me? Um, well, I don't know that we seek you specifically. Akles? Uh... I am not Akles. Akles is the god of poison. I am Suadella. Oh, so you're a the god, god of... not the god. I am god. I I just want to say okay. that Lumen, hearing that, now thinks that Akles is a god as well. Um, I do well, you've seen her do poison combat. good, so it tracks. Hmm? What is it? The name that she just said for herself? Suadella. Oh. Can I do a culture check? Um, you do could, a history yeah. check. Uh, really, it would be religion check, my friends. Uh, uh, that's what it's there for. But anyone who'd like to do a religion check may do one upon hearing Suadella. Okay, yeah. Do I... Can I do it? And if I recognize, like, people saying that in my facility? Go for it. What? Mm -hmm. Never heard of... Sua what now? Is that a kind of... Is that a deli meat? No, that's more... All these deli. gods are fake anyway. <laughs> Uh, did you do one, Lumen? No. L Lumen has, like, she has culture and she has religion. Not proficient. But I feel like I those should be negative. Mm -hmm. I just... <laughs> uh, 16. Um, you have not heard You of studied it. to come here, though. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Did she? You were the ambassador. <laughs> you were the most suited to come here. You have the objective the, knowledge. Just the criteria the was not disclosed. I was not given study materials. Remember, it was just it voted was just, on that she came. Here. Yes, it was. I was a it council voted. voted and said, "You above all the other people." It was the most suited to come here. Uh, yes. What did you roll, Ockley's, for your religion? Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Oh, religion or culture? It's a religion for you. Oh, well, in that case, a 15. 15. Um, do you want to... Or no, a 16. A 16, 16 okay. Sorry. Maybe, yeah, no. maybe, maybe another die would be a fun thing. So, so far you have spent your okay. D10 and your D12 of your hero die. Um, cool. Um, maybe, maybe throw I'll do... One. The D6. The D6 is a bold one to do. You probably won't die. You'll be fine. Yeah, roll it. I'll be fine. <laughs> There's a healer in the party. You'll be fine. So just get a, get a four or higher. It's a 50 50. Six. Six. Within a roll what does of that 20, do? you do know. Because you've, you know, you've done some studying into this based on your own, you know, own product name. Uh, in fact, you guys also, upon hearing that, or at least Lumen would probably see, like, in in very, like, covered by grime letters that, that Suadella has actually been inscribed on that tank. Uh, okay. In a more, like, uh, um, not, like, in a reverent way, in, like, a, an identification, you know, for the experiments. Suadella is, however, to your knowledge, Ocles, the Roman name 
or the Roman goddess of persuasion, seduction, and charm. Oh, that's not good. Right. <laughs> we'll be fine. Um, can Lumen roll, uh, do a, do a science check because sure. just to kind of understand maybe like what, what the vat is that she's sure. floating in go and stuff. It. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. and I want to roll advantage. Okay. Go for it. And while she's uh, doing that, what are you doing? Oculus? That's a two. Uh, when I realize that the party just hears me mutter shit under my breath. <laughs> so she says, Sue and Della. I'll take that. And you guys hear off these go. <laughs> He's just like... 24. 24. <laughs> you, you would suspect that just this... Just so they know it's bad. <laughs> that this woman who is, is of, of, you think is of, like, uh, Pacific Islander descent, by the way, um... She probably, whatever experiments were done on her, must not have left her, like, able to, like, live. Um, like, like probably left her, like, in very bad shape, but so this must be some means of keeping her alive. And apparently it has been continuing to keep her alive for a long time. You do see some, like, generators that are on down here. No other power is visible. Um, and she's just kind of floating there, and you see these various people who are sort of, you know... Some of the ones that her that the that the knife people didn't tear up. Um, she will say, "I am God. Why do you seek me? Do you seek surrender?" No. I don't believe we seek you specifically. We came here for enlightenment. Yeah. I am God. I can provide enlightenment. Come forward. I will fill your mind. Insight? <laughs> I walk forward. All right. Um, you can make an insight check if you'd like to. Um, go ahead, Findon. She, she begins to sort of reach out to you. Um... And it is a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Yeah. You, however, have done a lot to make yourself okay at those. I have. But on the other hand, I mean, she's, she, me. she's pretty good. I'll add the d6 to it. <laughs> That's a six, though. So that'll bring us to a 21. That was a good D6 to use. Uh, you feel like this, like, and if the rest of you see, like, that same kind of, like, psychic energy almost forming around his head, but he shakes it off. Um, and she says, You resist enlightenment. I resist control. They're not the same thing. I don't control. I simply explain. Some need more explanation than others. You can simply tell us what happened here. No. Can I discreetly split, like, to where it's, like, immediately behind me? Sure. I'm gonna... I'm going to duck out of the way and my formation will go forward and say, I would like to be enlightened. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Make a wisdom saving throw. She reaches to your mind. To clarify, this um, is the formation. Mm -hmm. I want to try something while that's happening okay. to see if it lets me, gives me like a little window in here. Um, I'll say one of the people who was here um, is dead, another is afraid. We have something we need to contain. I don't know what kind of god you are, but if you are not malicious, I hope that you will help us. You know, she's not looking at any of you. Uh, what did you roll, by the way? Uh, oh, not one. Cool. So, so one of the formations... Uh, 
that's but we did this is how I, I have to do it the same way for Maisie you're all charmed you also are this is it was the same for Maisie it's like your mind is the thing that links you mm-hmm. this is why remember when you were when the final was hitting you and we were like don't fail the wisdom save because that's your actual soul <laughs> so basically the two of you kind of like the light is on the formation as well as B and Lumen you see that and Aeclis you see that or Ocles you see that as well um, and uh, someone stole the formation you're sort of saying all of that um, so I'm not even going to go into the full details of this but in response to what you're saying I'm going to roll the die you, you made me for this um, she is going to make a persuasion check not charmingly but arguing her case for yeah, why please. she is not Do I make a counter persuasion to what? It's a natural 20. Natural what? Um, I am going, and so right now we're looking at a 44 for her. Um, I am going to add a d12 on top of this for her, of my what? own stock. Why? It's already 44. That is a 9. So she gives you with a 53 the most persuasive case that you've ever heard. Now, you are not charmed by it, but mm-hmm. you are, like, lowercase c charmed by it. Right, 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 right. I mean, that seems very reasonable. And we're perfectly content to leave you here with whatever sort of domain you've created. But we may have to access things here. So that we can stave off some, I don't know if oblivion is the correct word, but it doesn't seem great. Make your own persuasion check in response. I don't have a plus 24 to mine. She's got a plus 24. There we go. There we go. A little 19, so that is a 27. 27 is high. Um, she says, well argued. What do you need to access? I believe we're here to find out what happened with Project Dynamo. They found God. Seems like they found a few gods. She does not reply to that. Um, Hmm. V, you and your formation are just over there. Uh, Enough time has actually happened. You can make another wisdom save if you just throw up another one. Kind of enough times happened. You're not. You're not. uh, Most people are just kind of. You're still charmed. Uh, most people are charmed for a longer time, but but for you, I'm going to let you make them periodically. Um, Ockley's and Lumen, anything you wish to do? No, I, I don't know what to do, because we don't even know necessarily what we're looking for. We don't know if we're trying to, like, get into a computer... We don't know if we're looking for a filing cabinet. We don't know if we're looking for a person. We we need to look everywhere at everything. Yes, yeah. there is accuracy to that, certainly. Yeah, and so I just want to, can... like, get past this and continue on so I can look for something. Understood. All right, so um, she seems yeah. to, like, like like ask you what you want, but she doesn't seem to just be, like, walking away. And she, there's a lot of things in this room, you know, both both of just like humans and other weird creatures and kind of figures that she seems to be in control of. Interestingly though, she does not appear to be in control of anything that is um You rolled a pretty high science check, Lumen. I'm going to give you this. Nothing that has the kind of like weird thing over it is any other experiment. Like, those knife things don't have it. That thing outside didn't have it. None of the other sort of, like, monstrous experiments that have escaped down here with her seem to have that, like, charmed light on their head. For whatever that is worth. 
Uh, Lu I guess Lumen will just ask. Um, you know, may may we please look around your domain? Um, if we promise not to hurt uh, anything, hurt you or any of your loyal subjects. We just want answers for something that may harm us outside of your domain. S nothing can harm you. I'm God. Unless I will it, nothing mm. can harm you. Are you in charge of this facility? I'm in charge of everything. I'm God. Then she kind of looks to you. Great. You are like me. I cannot control you. But you will see reason. Who made you? I'm God. I created the universe. The same as you did. Uh-huh. The heresies that speak otherwise must be destroyed. Interesting. Okay. She's floating to do to do to do still, you know, never has looked at you, just kind of is perceiving you through some heightened sense. Um Lumen, make a perception check. Sure thing. That is a twenty-six. Twenty-six is pretty darn good. So you're kinda yeah. up here like glancing around him and she said heresies. You noticed um like a couple of those knifey creature things over there. Um, there must have been enough of those that they were able to breed. Um, kind of like, uh -huh. a couple of them kind of like shift over to one side. And they are, they're standing in front of something. Which, with your perception, you can tell is, it looks like some like filing cabinets. Some computers. Things of this nature that have been dragged into this room. Can I calmly walk towards it? Yes. As you begin walking over there, though, kind of like in that direction, they're like, <laughs> like you know, spreading out all their little knight fingers, and and a few of the mind control ones are sort of turning, and she says. There is nothing you need to see there. Why do you choose to stay here? This is the world. This is what I have created. I am God. I've created you to enter this part of the world. And you'll do as I say. Um, I understand now. Can I? I know we're not doing turns right now. Is charm being charmed a condition and can i use a d10 to clear it you actually can go ahead okay roll the d10 it would Did definitely hit some... uh no i'd roll the d10 if you uh uh it's a two okay so you don't get to clear <laughs> all the conditions no 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 you you you've done it you're you're it, you cleared the charm condition you're no longer charmed you snap out of it um, okay you guys notice that she has snapped out of it and and so does, uh, so does Suadella. Why do you resist me? You all resist me. And you, and even though she I can't wasn't... turn, you can tell that she's talking to you, Ockley's. No. 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 I've... I've made a bargain with another... You're not my god. I am god. I am god. I am god. Uh, okay. So, at this time, let's roll initiative. And I know that we are we are getting a little late here, but I think, depending on how things go, either there will be a rescue mission for the rest of the team at the top of the next episode, or, uh, so six for old 
V. Finden? 13. 13. So Finden? A natural 13. Uh, Lumen? Thank goodness. Which no, I have rolled three times tonight. Man, I wish this was the other game. I should count the ones from this one, too. Uh, Lumen, what do you got? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't count mine. I want to point that out. When I roll natural 13s, those don't increase the counter. It's only players. Um, but they do something for you. When don't I roll they? a 13, no, they don't do anything. Oh, they don't do anything? Okay. No. When I roll natural 13s on a d20, it doesn't count. It's only you guys. But whenever okay. you do, I roll my d13. And if I roll a 13, it gets great. Lumen, what do you got? Uh, 14. 14. And then, uh, Ockley's, what do you have for initiative? 22. Whoa! Nice. Ockley's and uh, my girl and the stuff. I said it was Rolling really good with this dice, maybe Pierce. Um, okay, that's just that is such proof positive that it has nothing to do with the dice. It has everything to do with the person. Um. So, uh, however, as well as she rolled, she's not beating your twenty-two. So, Ockley's, you get to go first. Um. Now, I don't know what you're okay. thinking of doing right now. Um. But I, I will. Don't know either. I will tell you <sighs> geographically. If you okay. were looking for a place that you could go where you would be, say, um, I don't know how long, I don't also know how far down your sheet you've read because I know this is all very sudden, but um, if you wanted to find a place where, like, say, you would be within 30 feet of her and a bunch of her people, but yeah. not in range of any of, of these members of, of Top Flight, that spot exists. I would like to find it, yes. Okay, so Ockley's, <laughs> if you would like to... So basically, Ockley's, the first thing you see happens, Ockley's just runs forward and kind of like, you know, moves moves ahead and kind of almost gets gets honestly pretty close to that yellow thing and kind of some of the creatures around are moving um, towards. And and basically, like, Lumen, you've been walking up, so you're about like 40 feet from where, uh, from where sort of she stops and the rest of you are also maybe like 30 feet back from her. V, you and your formation had kind of drifted back over towards Vindon. So that is your, your, you can do that movement, 30 foot movement, you can get to right there. Okay. Um, cool. Then I will use, yeah, I will use my action to like send forth the the poison cloud all around them. Um, okay. So basically, you just see her. Ockley's rush out and just kind of almost like in this like inhalation, this kind of lightly obscuring cloud of "Don't walk into this Findon poison" begins to <laughs> spread out from her. Um. So uh, I will roll uh for her. Now she is within the thing, so um there's a filtration system, but she she will roll at. Wow. Okay, your dice did not do good for her that time. Um, I'll throw a I'll throw a hero d10 <laughs> here for her. I roll a one is, is... on her hero d10. Oh. Oh, amazing. Okay. Uh, so she has actually failed that even within like there's some intake valves, so your stuff is going to like pump into that. You know, it's a porous thing. It's going to start poisoning that. Um, she is within it, so I might still have her take half damage, but it won't be none. Uh, but then I'll just kind of roll a couple times for everyone else around there. Uh, what is your DC? And it's 18. They all fail. My, Jeez. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so go ahead and roll your damage for your poison cloud. Okay. So for clarification on this, it's 510 poison damage and another 510 necrotic. Yeah, so 5d10 poison, 5d10 necrotic to everybody in the area. Oh. And it lasts. Oh my God. And it, and it persists um. for three rounds. Anything that starts its turn therein. I'm not poison. great at uh, performance. So start so with there's poison. Noticeable worry on my face. <laughs> You're like, okay, okay, okay. The darts were one thing. This seems like a problem. <laughs> Thirty-two. Woo. Poison. poison. That's good on five D ten. That's all right. It's. I mean, it's. It's good. It's. It's a little under half, I think. Okay. And she can do this once per day. Everyone calm down. <laughs> Some characters get a Nova of this nature because they don't do 5d6 on every punch. That's <laughs> what I do. I just punch things. 27 necrotic. 27 necrotic. Great. All right. Um, 
so that is 59 points of damage <laughs> um now many of the creatures around there begin like coughing and staggering but you see the poison like going getting pumped up into the thing as you you were sort of spraying it on like the filtration system at the base of her her machine so you see this like rising in her so she takes uh i'm gonna say it's half because it's in the thing but so she takes uh half of that which would be uh 29 points of uh of that kind of damage all of which is rough um <laughs> for her um oh shoot she's actually vulnerable to necrotic oh. uh so she takes all 27 of that plus so it's 27 plus 16 so never mind uh okay so she's looking really bad she's not dead so she's going to use her action to attempt to just like dominate all of you so can everyone please make a wisdom saving throw come on baby um and uh Ockley's, you actually don't have to roll this because oh, you are immune okay. to this. The other creatures such as you, um, it was the type of mind control they were putting into these, they made sure you guys weren't affected by this. Got it. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna, we'll make it easy here. The, uh, the, the DC of this is 20 to resist this charm. And 22. I fail. So V, uh, you, you succeed, Lumen fails, uh, Findon. Sixteen. Sixteen. So can I just one for my formation? Uh no, it's your your when it's when it's a wisdom save, it's the same because your guys' minds are connected. Can I right. um add a hero die? You may. I'm gonna use a D twenty. Okay. Findon, have you already used your D ten for the day? I'm out of dice. I have none left. Okay. I have rolled one roll above a above a six. All night. Oh, give me dice. Not the I dice. used four different D twenties. Again, not the die; it's the person. Uh, oh. twenty-one now. Twenty-one. So Lumen, you nearly succumbed oh. to this, but you managed to fight it away. Findon, however, is clearly charmed. Lumen, what would you like to do on your turn? Spent so much effort trying to prevent this from happening. <laughs> well, just wait for it. We'll look at it because this is it's this is what's fun about this is this circumstance is going to be so much worse than usual. Great. So yeah. my, do I have, do any of my healing spells? Could they remove the charm on Findon? <sighs> Can lesser restoration because that's one of your spells. No, but, so. but don't do it to me. I need this to happen because it's going to be so funny when on his turn she makes him run into the poison to punch Ockley's a bunch. So he takes all that poison damage and he's dealing damage to the... Oh, it's wonderful. Um, Lesser restoration. Does it get rid of charmed? Come on, friend. Nope, blinded, deaf, and paralyzed are poisoned. So yeah, sadly, no. Greater. Yeah, greater is required. Okay. Keep putting the magic stuff in and you'll eventually get to those spells, but for now, yeah, it's only greater. So, um, that being said, you can tell that the woman in the tank, the tank is keeping her alive. It has been badly compromised with this poison that she's in. She seems affected by it, so she's oh. lashing out trying to stop the force of it. I don't know if you have calm emotions. That would help. I do not have calm emotions. Should she have calm emotions? In general, no. I have no, I, I feel like none of us do, but that's fine. Well, hold on. No, it's a cleric spell. I was I gave her all of the like healing stuff of that. So I guess it suppose just suppresses you, it. it doesn't you get You should of have char calm emotions. You should actually have that spell. Oh, okay. What level is that? It's a second level. I'm okay, just so I can have it in the right is, thing. I have to. I would. I would imagine, given the situation, I would not willingly fail the save. I would still have to make a save. That's true. You do because you're charmed. So uh, you must make a save against Lumen's. Uh, if that's what you want to do. What, what is it? You said it doesn't like just fix it. What does it do? It, it just suppresses, suppresses the charm. Which. But what does that mean if it's not like like it in my is, head? It's either on or it's not. As long as you're concentrating that he's so it's like if if someone's charmed by like a vampire where they're charmed for just days at a time, if you cast calm emotions, the charm is gone for as long as the spell lasts. But once the spell's over, they're charmed again. I think Got it lasts it. for like a minute. Yeah, but 
Man, it should be plenty of time. This woman looks bad. This 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 uh, woman who's been living in a tank for uh, uh, nine years or whatever. She doesn't look great. So this fight's probably over. But Findon, make your uh, make your. Is it a wisdom save for Columbus? I don't trust it's you, a, Philip. It's a charisma save. Cool. Make a charisma save. If that's what you want to do. Or uh... shoot the lady. Yeah, it's your call. Sorry, I didn't mean to cloud the cloud. <laughs> It's totally fine. It's all um, clouded. It's good to know that I can do this stuff. Because honestly, my my before you got charmed, she was gonna blast. Then you got charmed, she was going to blind you, so that you couldn't. Oh, that's see. such a. I'm much better at resisting being blinded than being. Oh. <laughs> but hey, it's me. So. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I'm usually gonna come with the worst outcome. So. Lumen will do calm emotion. All right, Sinton, make a charisma saving throw. So if you roll high on this, this won't work. DC's 18. You rolled high? I rolled high. an 18, so it's a 26. Oh. Okay. So you are unable to calm Findon's emotions. Uh, anything else on your turn, Lumen? I know you've already done your extra action. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Lumen. It's okay. Uh, I Let me see. What is the detent? Clear condition. I can't clear someone else's Only condition, your own, right? Only sadly, yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. Nope. All right. Lumen's turn ends. Findon, please. Uh, you are instructed by God to mm -hmm. run into the poison and punch the lady in the green and the black. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. So you walk <laughs> into the poison is rough. It's not going to trigger until the beginning of your next turn. But go for it. Okay. The seventeen hit uh, Ockley's. Not. It does not hit. Right, I'll punch actually. again. Yeah. It's worse. It's a fourteen. So already the poison is just, and you're like swinging these fists. Uh, v, it is your turn. I would like to use a bonus action to split into. I have seven left. Pull them all out. A total of four V. No, five Vs. Okay. So so get that three so more. So me and four formations. Perfect. And just stay, keep away from the cloud. You're out of the cloud. Yeah. And Elder left the um, the woman in the tank. Go for it. <laughs> this is my like power move. Okay, so uh, we have a two seventeens. Don't hit. Fair. Uh, it's a reinforced like bulletproof glass case. You know, it's like yeah. Yeah, twelve. Uh, 20, 22. 22 hits. Okay, and that one's not going to hit. And then one more. Ooh, a... Uh, 23. That one hits as well. Okay, so just two to hit. Two to hit. 11. 11 and 10, so 21. 21, there are now cracks in that stuff and it's beginning liquid is pouring out and she's, uh, you see the liquid going down so not only is she like surrounded by this poison but she's like, she's like <laughs> she begins to like choke and like she's kind of like falling down within the liquid, she's not doing well uh, I'll give her another like, just 10 points of exposure damage there, oof, she's not doing good uh Ocles, it is your turn so there's cracks in the tank now that, say, a dart could get through? Injure? Yes, a dart can get through, but it's, um, uh, it's like the AC will be higher because you're trying to use such a little pinpoint. But you could definitely send a dart through for sure. My other question is, does she take full poison damage? Is she, or is she resistant? She seemed, she was only resisting because, like, it's not as good a vector to put it into that liquid. Um, she seems to be vulnerable to the necrotic, you're, and you're already pumping that out. But she see, she doesn't seem to be resistant to the poison, no. Oh, okay, cool. So, so yeah, so you that. can shoot a thing. Now, have you used your hero D4 yet? I have not. I would just say, based on the lateness of the hour and what's going on, I would maybe roll that, that and give yeah, yourself yeah. advantage. But roll it, because if we um, wind up needing it, you can have it again. So roll the cool, d4. Okay. One. One. Okay, so so roll this attack with advantage. Uh, okay. Philip. Yo. Being that I'm there trying to punch Ockley's and they are attempting a ranged attack, do I impose disadvantage? 
Yes. So it's a flat roll. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Well, my first... Okay, cool. What was the first so, one? So, my first one was a 24. That hits... Well, yeah, if your first roll was a 7... Yeah, that's... Or was a 24. Yeah. That does hit. Uh, so you send the poison dart through, uh, and you and Patrick, go ahead and roll your damage on that. And I think provided that you don't roll all twos, I think she will... And I think you need... You need... Yes, if it's not all twos. If it's not all twos and ones. It is not. Um, six. She has seven hit points. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. You hit her with the poison dart. Now, the the interesting thing that happens here is all these people who she's been mind controlling, uh, including Findon, like, are broken out of the mind control that, that sort of okay. her presence was imposing. Um, the bad news is most of them are already dead in your poison cloud. Now, their minds have been so atrophied and bodies so broken, you doubt that they could have recovered. So these bodies are kind of just falling amidst the cloud. But um, I guess Lumen technically, uh, are you are you moving at all? Uh, Findon, you see kind of like come out of his stupor. Uh, you still have your movement if you'd like to, uh, Ockley's. Uh I'll go up to Findon and see if he's okay. Okay. Uh, he looks pretty rough. Uh, especially because uh, now that his turn starts, he takes. Um, oh no! Uh, Finn, don't make a Constitution saving throw. Oh no! Can do I have enough movement to try and like get him out of the cloud? You can start dragging him, but you can only pull okay. him like fifteen feet. So even if you're dragging also, him, he's like, still... okay, I'm gonna yeah, try I'm, and help I'm, him I'm out. A, I, I'm. What do you hardy. got? Um. Thirty-one. Con save thirty-one. So you only take half. So you take uh, you take twenty-nine points of both poison and necrotic. But you are like it's that poison damage. So you're like, <laughs> but she is pulling you out, and that's the beginning of your turn. You can walk out of it now, kind of on your own recognizance. Now that you've taken that damage. <laughs> yeah, I'll come out like coughing, like yeah. doubled over, looking like far weaker than normal. All right, um, there you go. Um, Lumen use and I will I will at that point like in like having been surrounded by um, by uh, poison and mind controlled I will like like pull up like coughing pull up my communicator and basically say <laughs> Sid Devil I don't know that we were the best people to send you should probably send other members here to help Ah, well, unfortunately, the rest of the team is currently involved in uh, repelling an invasion of uh, scorpion aliens. Don't worry about it. We've got it handled. Uh, just oh. collect whatever you can find and return back. Uh, unless you're in dire need, and then I can send in some other flight infinity forces. Uh, uh, however, it does appear at this time all the hostiles are either down or sort of fleeing out in through like, the, the cave. Um, and there is a trove of information. We won't go into that now. But um, if you are sort of allowing yourselves and uh, and, and, and Ockley's to sort of take all of that, um, I think if there are any other words anyone wants to yeah. say now, we can say those. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll I think rapidly. I have a question. Please, what did we experience when we were under the charm? Do we remember? You. It was interesting. It wasn't like the. It was. It was. The charm was just such good arguments. She was just making such good points. It's like everything she said was so logical. And the worst thing about this is other, uh, like, unlike other times when you're usually charmed, part of you still thinks she was right. Like, it's still in your brain. You're not, like, you're, you're able to resist it now. But it's, it's not like when you've been charmed and you're, like, you're, like, you, you break out of it. You're, like, what was I doing? It's this thing of, like, like, there is still some part of you, Finn, that's, like, yeah, but it probably, I mean, you're, like, she did make that poison. I really probably should kill this, you know, Aquas person. You're now not going to, but there is this part of you that's like, mm. no, but it, it has a good point though. You know, it's, it's, she's very persuasive is the answer. Um, so, uh, any other things uh, you all want to do or, or Ockley's obviously, um. Yeah, I yeah. I would, uh, I do have something to say to Ockley's, Ockley's. Um, as we're sort of gathering this information I'm going to look at you, Ockley's, and, well, we're going to take this and we'll go back to Top Flight Tower to 
sort of analyze it and sort through it. Given your history, given who you're connected to, I think you should come with us. Uh, well, I do want to make sure it's uh, destroyed and not used for horrible purposes like it has been in the past, so sure, why not? We have a nice jet. It's a goose. I thought oh, goose. <laughs> we specifically did not take the goose. By goose. It's just the model of the jet. Goes with my theme. Understood. Being the formations birds do it too, you know. I just like the name. Got it. Sure. Very well. I'm Sorry. really sorry if you knew any of these people. It seems like you're really familiar with this place. I actually didn't know anyone here. Well, I guess that's for the best. Yeah. Let's go to the goose. Well, I suppose it, it, with that, as the poison cloud has dissipated and you guys do have some materials you can gather, um, you will take... So, so, so Ockley's is going back to Alpha City with the party. Well, there you go. Uh, well, we will see what plays out of all of that uh, in a future installment, in a future issue. So issue 13 was like a double-sized because uh, this was a long episode. Uh, so that's what we'll say. So, well, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, some crazy stuff. Thank you so much, Laura, for, for jumping in here. Because yes. uh, I do yes. think things would have been rough if it had only been the three of them, just in terms of, like, <gasps> number of monsters on the town plus action economy, etc. Um, but very good. Well, thank you all so much uh, for checking it out. Uh, anybody have any closing plugs or things they need to get out into the world? Fair enough. Then in that case, everybody have... A top a night. A top night. Ooh. <laughs> top night. Oh, damn. I'm the one who has to end the session now. Hold on. I didn't do that. I'm going to say it again. Right. Everyone have... Hold on. I got my finger over the thing so I can click it like... All right. Bye, everyone. We're have not going to edit this. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> I, want it to, I want it to feel good in the moment. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Have a top night. <laughs> okay.